Cow, uh -huh. stupid tree. Uh, it can talk. What are you staring at, kid? Wait a minute. How come I can see you? I haven't seen a Mononoke in years since I was a little boy. Has my second sight finally come back? Where have I gone crazy? Uh, so can you see that one? Or that one? Or the other one by the gate over there? There are more? There are lots of them. I was afraid of that. Uh, then why is it that I can only see you? Well, that's because I'm a very old spirit, and I'm a very powerful spirit, too. And that's why even a boy with pitifully limited vision like you can see me. Oh. Aren't you Abinoseme's grandson? I saw you walking with him a long time ago, right down this road. So, what are you doing here all alone, Seime's grandson? Stop calling me that! <sighs> I'm Masahiro. Abe no Masahiro. I am my own man, and don't you forget it! Well, if there's something that's bothering you, I'll listen. Same as young grandson, Masahiro. Whatever. Oh, you're studying calligraphy? Let me make an educated guess here. You gave up the path of becoming an Onmyoji and attempted to become a calligrapher, and then you failed at that, too. That about right? <gasps> it's not your fault your handwriting is awful. Or that they told you you have no talent for this kind of thing, right? Uh -huh. Just my opinion. Thank you so very much for your input, Mr. Mononoke. Oh boy, that's not uh, great. What the? How did you get in here? Uh, through the gate? That's not what I meant. The house is protected by my grandfather's magical barrier. Mononoke and spirits shouldn't be able to get in here no matter what. But I got in now, didn't I? What are you doing? Making sure you're gone before my grandfather or my father finds you. Now, get lost. Hey, it's raining out here. You keep coming to see me day after day. You certainly are a persistent fella. I'm surprised you even noticed. I've noticed you keep trying different things day after day. The flute today, huh? I don't want to talk about it. It's too depressing. Uh, 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 what on earth is it? We'll protect you. Help! Help me, please! It's a monster! Ah! This must be a demon or something! I gotta help him! Ah! I think your enthusiasm to go off on the monster is great! But listen, you don't have any idea what you're chasing! Why? What kind of demon do you see? A really big scary one! And it's hungry and chopped down a full-grown ox in one bite! One bite? But still, I have to help him! Ah! Hold on! Ah! What the? If you are saying may I say go, but there's no way you can fight that demon! <sighs> what happened to my carriage? Princess, I'm afraid it's gone. What will I tell my father? Father, I'm home. Oh, welcome back. Come in. So, how did it go? What did the flute master have to say? <laughs> He said I could come over and play for fun. Anytime. <laughs> play for fun. That's interesting. Did he say any other interesting things? Uh, no. No, not really. Is that so? Yeah, nothing. Well, okay. A letter came for you today. Mm. It's from your grandfather. A letter? From grandfather? But we live together. Yes. I guess I should read it then, shouldn't I? That's an idea. I heard from Yoshimasa about what happened. Masahiro, 
I've also heard that you no longer want to become an Onmyoji. This makes me feel very sad. I remember when you were a naive little boy, how you would follow me around calling out Grandpa, Grandpa. I was a lot younger then. At that time, do you remember that you could see many unusual things? Uh. That inspired me to pass on the secrets of my mystical powers. Therefore, I am confident in asking you to take care of an important task for me. Ah! There's a matter of a troublesome spirit being a nuisance within the capital. It seems to be upsetting the locals. It has caused somewhat of a commotion and I feel that common folk may need our help. So Masahiro, I want you, you to go, go and, and exorcise it for me. He makes it sound like a simple errand. You're here again, I see. Well, don't blame me if my father finds a Mononoke hanging around and exercises your spirit from the house for good. What's up with that? Stop calling me a Mononoke. It's really starting to get on my nerves. To begin with, a Mononoke is the spirit of a dead human that haunts people. You're Seimei's grandson and you don't know the difference? <sighs> kind of pathetic. Then you're an Ayakashi. Maybe that's true, but it doesn't sound very interesting, does it? Okay, something paranormal. Hey, wait a minute, that's not funny. Uh, <sighs> you're really getting on my nerves. You know, if you just told me your name, then I could call you by that instead. Well, I... I can't do that. <sighs> yeah, whatever. Hey, a name is magical. You can't go carelessly throwing someone's true name around. You'd think that Seimei's grandson would know better. Okay, but... fine. Then your name from now on is gonna be Mokun. That a boy. Oh. What the heck are you thinking? I have a much more refined and elegant name than that. Calling me Mokun is so insulting. Mokun, Mokun, Mokun the Mononoke, and that's final. Hey! So, since you're taking out your divination board and hitting the books, I guess that means you're gonna follow Seimei's instructions and exercise the demon? Of course. If I tell him I can't do it, he'll say, I see, that's because you haven't had enough training. And then he'll say, Now I'll have to teach you everything all over again right from the very beginning. I'm not gonna let him hold that over me. I'll banish that stupid demon no matter what it takes. Now go away and let me study. But you can't even see it. So what? Who cares if I can't? If you don't have the second sight, the exorcism won't work. Not to mention, you won't even know when some evil demon's sneaking up behind you. I don't care about the danger. I have to try. Uh. <sighs> uh. What? Uh. Hmm. Then you can become my eyes. heard of an Onmyoji using an Ayakashi to act as his eyes before. It's just weird. Whatever works. Listen, do you think this demon that's been causing all the trouble in town is the same one we ran into the other time? Most likely. It's the one that ate the ox cart in Sanjo Road. It swallowed the whole ox in one bite. <sighs> do you see it yet? Nah, I don't sense anything yet. Wow, so Sami began teaching you the art of Onmyo magic when you were just a little boy? Yeah, I've got everything I've learned inside my head. But I've never actually had to use it yet. That's just great. I wonder why he gave you something this big for your uh, first assignment. Hey, you're right! You know, he could have given me something a lot easier. Like helping someone who's feeling like they're weighed down, or something to do with spirits, or exercising someone who's been possessed. Mm -hmm. Normally, mm -hmm. that's what you give mm -hmm. someone on their mm -hmm. first time out. Right? Uh, no. Can you sense it? Definitely. It's that thing from last time. It's this way. Huh. Right. That's what I was thinking. Here it comes. Uh, I think we should run! Ah! It's burrowing through the ground! This way! Is it gone? Hmm. Nope! It's getting on us! Wait! Stop here! Okay. Retreat! What's wrong? Something... 
Something's got my leg! I think... Uh, <clears throat> it's the demon's tongue! It's completely wrapped around your foot! Hold on to something! What do I do? Uh, don't let it drag you! Embrace yourself! Where is it dragging me? I can't see uh, it! The uh, demon is dragging you towards his big open mouth! Uh, can't let it eat me! I'll try this! Namo kusama de bazaladan! Masahiro! Mogon! Mogon! What are you doing? Run away! Go now! Get away while you still can! You're stopping the demon! So it can't eat me! You can see it? No, but I can smell it! Its breath is horrible! This is definitely its big mouth! And you'll become its next meal if I let go of it right now! You're just not strong enough to fight it! I'm stronger than you! Just let me help! I can't do that! If you die here, I'll be in deep trouble! Huh? Why would a stray Mononoke sacrifice so much for me? It's not important! Don't worry about it! Just get out of here! I can't just leave you here! I... I gotta... do something! <gasps> if I can't even save one little Mononoke, how will I ever be better than my grandfather? I won't let you be eaten! Tell me, is your second sight allowing you to see it? That's really not important right now! It means nothing if we don't survive this together! If you can see this demon, then you know you can't beat a monster like this! Run, get out of here! Sacrificing you to get away is not acceptable at all! I have to become the greatest Omnioji so nobody is ever sacrificed! That's what I needed to hear! Uh, Mokun? My name's not Mokun! Listen to me, Masahiro. I need you to know my real name. This name has only been spoken by one other person since it was given to me. You need to call me by this name now. Could we pick a better time to talk about names? No! No! Masahiro! <laughs> Masahiro, my name is Gorin. I am the Crimson Lotus! Goran? That's right! Call my name! Goran! Goran! Son, is that the best you can do? It can't be. Mokun! The name's Gurren. Did you hit your head and forget me already? Mokun, it is you! I'm so glad you're alive! So we meet again, Toda! Toda? Uh, Masahiro, I think there's something more important that you should be attending to right now. I'll take this worm down! Foolish boy! On the way of Shabana Banakakakasuka! Army of light that fights the forces of darkness, go forth and destroy! <sighs> I'm exhausted. It called you... Toda. That demon. It called you Toda, didn't it? Oh, is that what you heard? Uh... Toda is one of the land spirits on the globe of the Five Justices. Your grandfather's familiar. <laughs> then why are you using the name Gurren when... your name's Toda? I'm Gurren. That name was given to me by Seimei. And I happen to like it. Grandfather. That's right. I remember everything now. My grandfather sealed off my second sight and then he told me. 
It's not good to see so much at your age. That's when he sealed my power. When the time comes and you really need to, you'll be able to see. <sighs> well, all your hard work paid off. Uh, Mokun! Don't call me Mokun, Seimei's grandson. Don't call me grandson. <laughs> You're Mokun in this form from this point on. Hey, wait! No fair! Stop calling me Mokun! Uh... Huh? Bird? Uh, so what's this? Looks like a magic letter to me. Mm. Very good. Now you're able to see. But you should have been able to exercise a demon like that without help. Signed, Seimei. Signed, Seimei? That means that old geezer's been watching me suffer all this time. <laughs> I think my grandfather likes to see me suffer. Come on, don't be like that. But for once, I can go and face him with my head held high. You exercise that giant demon skull all by yourself without my help. Yeah. Well, very impressive defeating that giant skull alone. <laughs> However, demolishing that old house wasn't necessary at all. Careless boy. <laughs> Careless boy! Wow. He's so aggravating! I'll tell you, that coming-of-age ceremony was tedious, but now my little Masahiro's finally a man. Uh, You've grown up so fast, time sure flies. I'm behind everyone. I should have done it last year. There's nothing wrong with that. After all, you should be happy. Once you were my hopeless student, and now you can face the world alone. You're a student? When did that happen? Anyway, you should worry about leaving the banquet early. You are the guest of honor at this little soiree. <sighs> I was so nervous I couldn't eat or drink a thing. Now I'm totally exhausted, and the guests keep wanting to talk to me. I just can't wait for this to end. I know! There's nothing worse than bored nobles. They've nothing better to do than attend the coming-of-age ceremony of the great Anmyoji's grandson. <clears throat> well, it's not like I'm some kind of museum exhibit. My, my, someone's touchy today. Uh, Masahiro. Uh, oh, hi, father. I'm real sorry. I was feeling a little tired, so I thought I'd sneak out and catch a quick nap in my room. I don't blame you. I'm really surprised myself that this many people showed up for the ceremony today. I'm going somewhere tomorrow, and if you're not busy, I'd like to take you along with me, Masahiro. Mm. So where are we going, then? Actually, we're going to visit Fujiwara no Michinaga. He said he would like to meet Abe no Seme's youngest grandson once you'd completed the coming-of-age ritual. It's quite an honor. I'd appreciate it. Yes, sir. Oh, wow. It's truly an honor that Michinaga-sama wants to meet you. I must say I'm quite impressed. You are? Yeah, and you should be as well. He has more power than you can imagine. He rose quickly within the government to become Minister of the Left. And so that means now he has enough influence to do whatever he wants to do. If he likes you, you'd be set for life. <sighs> But when Father said he wanted to meet Seimei's grandson, it kind of ruined it. If it bugs you so much, then you'll just have to be better than your grandfather. I know. One day, I will be more powerful than my grandfather. Mm -hmm. It's good to be so determined. It's gonna take a lot of work. Uh, so, where's a carriage? Uh, we're gonna be walking there. What? We're gonna walk? It's not like your feet are gonna get dirty riding on my shoulder. Oh. Stop that, Masahiro. That wasn't a very nice thing to do. Well, he's being a real pain. I'm a pain. I'm a pain? Well, I'm not gonna talk to you then. Fine, well, that works for me. We're ready to go, Father. You should be nicer to your spirit guide. That's right. You should listen to your father. Yoshimasa, thank you for coming here. Please join me. Thank you. I hope you're not too nervous there. Pause the now. 
There have been a lot of nobles who have said the wrong things in front of Michinaga and ended up regretting their mistake big time. Listen up, Masahiro. You gotta make a good first impression. You need to pretend that you are a friendly, honest, hard-working apprentice on Mioji. I know that'll be difficult for you, but... Hey! Are you ignoring me? Listen! I'm trying to save your skin here, Masahiro, and you pretend I'm not here? Yeah. I give you great advice, so you should say thank you, Mokun. Yeah. Say thank you. Say thank you. Come on, Zimi's grandson. Don't ah! call me that! Uh. Uh. Oh, no. Hmm. Michinaga-sama. You can't see it, but there happens to be an Ayakashi visiting with us right now. A rather vocal one at that. Huh? I'm afraid it's teasing Masahiro. Really? Are you serious? Is it dangerous? Exactly what does this Ayakashi look like? Hey, Michinaga! This is what I look like! Yoshimasa, I guess if you're not worried about this creature, then I assume it means me no harm, is that right? No. You're completely safe. There's nothing for you to worry about. Then, just where is this spirit? I see no sign of it anywhere. He is so completely looking in the wrong direction! I'm over here! Hello! Uh, Mokun! Masahiro. Uh, it, sir? Mm? You are definitely Yoshimasa's heir. Uh, Although you still have much to learn to become an Onmyoji, you can see what others cannot see. You're special. Uh, yes, I mean... Tell Michinaga that you've been dreaming uh, since before you could even walk. Uh, oh, that you're well trained. I'm depending on you, Masahiro. You must study hard so that you can protect me and the people of my province. Uh, sir, I'll do my best. There, you see? Thanks to me, Michinaga praised you. <gasps> Masahiro, Michinaga and I still have a few things to discuss. So why don't you go outside and take a short walk around his gardens? Uh, okay, thanks. <laughs> This place is so amazing. Yeah, but the first Fujiwara no Kamatari was not as ostentatious. Wow, I must admit, I'm impressed you even know stuff from hundreds of years ago. When you've lived as long as I have, there's very little you don't know about. You've really lived a very long time. Hm. Well, to be honest, Michinaga only rose to power fairly recently and likes to display his wealth. <sighs> you know, I think his garden is bigger than our whole house. Well then, if you find this place intimidating, you are going to be floored when you see how huge the Imperial Palace is. <sighs> you think I get totally lost there? Not as long as you have me to show you around. I've been there literally dozens of times. I'm uh, old, remember? You, you, you're coming with me to the Imperial Palace? You've got nothing to worry about. There are tons of monsters and spirits roaming the Imperial Palace gardens. I'll barely be noticed. In fact, I'll be one of the better looking spirits there. <sighs> Mokun, why are you staying with me? I know you were sent to help me out before I got my second sight back. But now that I can see Mononoke and Ayakashi again, everything should be fine. I've become an adult and I can handle it. You have a long way to go. Hmm, if you say so. But my training is coming along very well. So you can go back to my grandfather if that's what you want to do. What's up with that? You want to get rid of me that badly? Ah, don't tell me. You don't want to go because you'd be lonely uh. and miss me. <laughs> so, did I guess your secret? Uh. Uh, hey, Mokun, wait up! What's the matter? You upset? Uh, Mokun, what's happening? Hmm. There was something here. There was? I don't sense anything unusual. It's not here anymore. Uh, but there definitely was something here before. Something strange and supernatural, and I'm not sure exactly what it was. Then it might have been a curse directed at Michinaga-sama. It didn't feel like a curse. Uh, then what was it? Do you think you could at least make an effort to try to figure it out yourself? Uh. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, I'm still training. I'm not an expert yet. Now, I seem to remember somebody saying something like, I've become an adult and I can handle well, it. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, who are you? Uh, <sighs> what are you doing out here? 
And what is that thing with you? Uh, you mean you can see this thing? Don't call me a uh. thing! May I make an educated guess? You're the minister of the left's daughter, and you can see spirits Ayakashi and Mononoke. Hmm, yes. That must be difficult for a noble princess. <sighs> I'm already under the protection of Seimei-sama, so I'm not worried about anything. And your father said I'd be safe as well. Grandfather must have set a magical barrier. You came here with Yoshimasa-sama, didn't you? Yeah, my name's Masahiro. Are you also training to become an Onmyoji Masahiro? Yes, I am. Well, you are Seimei-sama's grandson, so you're destined to be a great Onmyoji. I know a lot of Onmyoji who are very good, and none of them are Seimei's grandson. Uh, I'm sorry. I suppose you would know better. Uh, it's okay. I'm sorry, but I have to go now. Mokun, uh, come on, let's go. Uh, wait! That's surprising. The princess wasn't a bit shocked when she saw me. Most people tend to scream and run away when they see such an imposing figure like myself. She must truly believe that she is under the protection of a great Onmyoji and feels completely safe and secure in her home. Seimei's just that great, right? Hey, are you listening? Uh, <clears throat> someday I'll be better than my grandfather. Yeah, well, good luck on that. Anyway, the princess was pretty cute, wasn't she? Uh, I'm thinking you got a little thing for her, don't you? Uh, shut, shut up! up. <laughs> ah! I'm sure Father must have finished talking with Michinaga-sama by now. Yeah, you spent an awful long time chatting with the pretty princess. Asahiro Dono. Uh... Yukinari-sama, thank you for being part of my coming-of-age ceremony yesterday. I really appreciate it. It was my pleasure, really. I asked Michinaga-sama to let me take part in your coming-of-age ceremony. There was a curse on me once, and Seimei Dono helped me remove it. It was the very least I could do in return. From now on, I'll do my best in my role as your guardian, Masahiro Dono. By the way, I thought I heard you talking to someone out here just a minute ago. Uh, oh, oh, that would be me! Masahiro was talking to me! Oh, wait, you can't see or hear me! What I could tell you about Masahiro would curl your hair! Hmm? Wow! hmm? Is something bothering you? Uh, no, my shoulder's a little stiff. Uh, Masahiro, that was just mean! I was practicing my spells and chants while walking through the garden, so that must have been what you heard. Most impressive. A young man who always practices no matter where he is. You're definitely Semi Dono's grandson. Uh, grandson? Uh, thanks a lot. It's nothing. You'll get used to wearing them eventually. <clears throat> uh, huh? What's the matter? Yukinari seems like a nice guy. Uh, no, nothing's the matter. Tomorrow will be your first day working at the Onmyo Dorm. If you have any questions, anything you don't know, I want you to feel free to come and ask me. There's nothing wrong, are you sure? Uh, no, really, I'm fine. You've been busy. I'm sure the coming-of-age ceremony was quite an experience, and the visit with Michinaga-sama. You definitely should take some time to get some proper rest. Yeah. We'll talk later. Uh... Uh, Mokon! Hey, did you see what I did? It took me years to perfect that mid-air pirouette. Not just anybody can do that. And what would have happened to us if you had knocked Yukinari-sama's hat off his head? Stop worrying. You didn't notice a thing. I was kind of hoping he might. Ugh. What's wrong, Masahiro? I think you're looking a little peaked. Maybe Yukinari was right. You ought to think about trying to get more rest. Mm. I can't believe I have to spend my day doing errands for other people. Hmm. Back and forth, back and forth. It's tough to be the low man on the totem pole. Uh, uh, huh? <laughs> Due to all
all the infighting between the students, this building is almost overrun by minor demons. It's kind of ironic. So many of them infesting a building where Onmyoji are training. I think it's strange, don't you? Well, if they don't try to start something, I think it's best if we just leave the weaker ones alone. Masahiro Dono, going to the library? Yeah. Could you be a pal and do me a favor and return these scrolls for me? Sure. Could you be a nice guy and return these as well? Could you put these back for me? I'd appreciate it. Not a hard-working trainee. Hey, do we get to go home sometime soon? Hang on for a minute, will ya? These are records of the evil spirits who've tried to harm our emperors. I thought it might be a good idea if I studied something about each one of them. Did you feel that aura? I've got a weird feeling about this. You're not the only one, my friend. <laughs> There's something wrong over there. It's coming from the direction of the palace. It's a fire. Gmo, can you think? Yeah, but this is not a normal fire. Huh? The fire seems to be spreading from the Seirio dorms to the Emperor's private quarters. Uh, that's not good at all. Masahiro. You need to concentrate. There's uh. something sinister lurking among the confusion of all these people's auras. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> <clears throat> it's definitely a demon! This is not the first time I've felt this presence. Where have I sensed it before? <clears throat> East Sanjo resident. <sighs> What are you feeling, Masahiro? There's a supernatural presence. And it's at Michinaga's house? I remember you telling me that you felt something there earlier, is that right? Do you think it could be the same? Masahiro Dono! Uh, What's going on? Where are you headed in such a hurry? Uh, where's Michinaga-sama? He's on his way back here. News of the palace fire just reached him and he's hurrying home right now as we speak. Uh, <sighs> Masahiro Dono, you can't go in without permission. Hey, you, where are you going? <laughs> Grandpa's demon barrier's been breached. Masahiro? Princess, stay where you are! No idea. But it was supernatural. Uh, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm sorry! <laughs> uh, it's probably safe now. I'll let Grandfather know, and if he sets a stronger magical barrier, no one will be able to harm you, First Princess. Uh, uh, uh. Akiko, please don't call me First Princess. Call me Akiko. Uh, Akiko? Oh! I owe you my life. Thank you very much. Masahiro Dono! What are you doing? What's going on? Huh? Akiko, are you alright? It's okay, Father. Yukinari-sama, there's no need to worry. You should have seen it. Masahiro destroyed the evil monster. Oh? It was amazing! Masahiro is becoming a magnificent Onmyoji. Good work. You've done well, Masahiro. As expected of Seimei's grandson. 
Timmy's grandson. That's just great. <laughs> <clears throat> I fear we haven't seen the last of what caused this mishap. The fire started in an empty spot. There was no earthly explanation for its cause. I also happened to notice Masahiro was the only one who ran to save the princess. <laughs> and so it starts. I sense chaos ahead. Chinaga offers to give us a reward and you turn it down? The very least you could have done was ask for a carriage to take us back home. Listen to me. Since I'd entered his house without permission, if he'd wanted to, he could have punished me severely and there's nothing I could have done about it. But it's not uh, fair. I don't want to walk back home. What? Ugh. Pardon me. Huh? This is from Akiko-sama, as a sign of her gratitude. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, what's that smile I see? Oh. Kinda looks like somebody's lovesick to me. No, it's just that I was thinking that it smelled nice. You looked so cool while rescuing the princess today, didn't you? At least that's what you were thinking, uh. right? Bah! No, I wasn't! Uh. <laughs> well, if I hadn't been there, you never would have gotten up the nerve to talk to her. That is not true! The cereal quarters in the inner palace were badly burned in the blaze, so now the Emperor has had to move to the first palace, you know. That's interesting. It seems that the responsibility for repairing the devastated inner palace has been given to Yukinari. That's interesting. The officials from the Imperial Guard conducted thorough investigations, but in the end they were still unable to determine the actual cause of the mysterious fire. That's interesting. Hey, are you listening to what I'm saying? That's interesting. Hang on. This isn't what I should be doing right now. You think? Anataya Zare, Makazare, Ukimokiare, Arabati, Chiriti, Chiritahati, Chini, Chini, Sichini, Nirichi Hachi, Soaka. Princess! Don't move, you mustn't open your eyes. <sighs> and now... <clears throat> Seimei-sama, is it finished? Yes, Michinaga-sama. I have set a much stronger magical barrier than before. However, don't be complacent. It has been broken once already. Princess Akiko... Take this, just in case. Uh, what is this? It's a charm. Uh, thank you very much for everything, Simi-sama. Akiko and I are relieved and reassured. You have done so very much for us, I thank you. Besides, you have brought us your wonderful grandson. Mm -hmm. Michinaga-sama. Uh, I want to warn you about overestimating Masahiro's abilities. What are you saying? Masahiro was the only one in the Anmyo dorms who sensed that something was wrong and rushed over here to rescue Akiko. Most likely, the others were simply distracted by the commotion during the fire. And yet, I only feel admiration for he is truly your grandson. Huh. You are far too kind. Seimei-sama? Hmm? Yes, what's the matter? I'm wondering, how is Masahiro doing? He's still trying to discover the cause of the fire. You can see the stars very clearly tonight. It's a perfect night for your astrology. Don't you think so? Mm. What's up? Did you find something unusual in the sky tonight? Because I can tell something's been bugging you for a while. Nothing's bugging me, really. I'm just having trouble studying these star charts. What do you mean you're having trouble with them? Well, I'm not very good at reading the stars, that's all. You're not good at it, but I thought reading the stars was one of the most basic skills of an Anmyoji. That may be, but I'm more suited for practical things like battling demons, not reading stars. But that's no good at all. It's an important tool of your trade. Well then, how about this, Mokun? What if the sky were completely covered with clouds and we couldn't see a thing if we tried? And it just so happens that above the clouds, an ominous star that foretells some disaster streaked by and we never saw it. 
then what would happen? It sounds to me like you're just making excuses. You can't blame it on Miyoji. He can't foretell the future because he can't read the stars. I still don't think that's an acceptable answer. Do you? Sure it is. Well, you know it's a necessary skill nonetheless. Come on, try again. <sighs> I'm just not good at astrology. <sighs> Where are you going? I need a change of scenery. Hey, I want to go too. I thought that if I got a closer look at the stars, I might get some inspiration. But I guess I'm hopeless. If you can't read them anyway, why did you think getting closer to them would help? I just don't have the mind for the arts of divination at all. How about going to Seimei and asking him? Uh... Seimei's divination skills are almost legendary. No way. I saw that coming. Don't you understand? If I go to my grandfather now, what do you suppose he'll tell me? Oh dear, Masahiro. You can't even read basic star charts? That's really terribly pathetic. Now, we'll need to start from the beginning. And that's the most pathetic thing of all. Sounds about right. And then he'll say, Masahiro, I tried my best to teach you, but all of my efforts have completely gone to waste. You make grandfather sad. And on top of it all, he'll even pretend to wipe away non-existent tears. Ah, he makes me so <laughs> that sneaky old geezer. Hey, Masahiro. What? It probably wouldn't hurt you to be a little more appreciative. After all, Seimei put a lot into teaching you the Onmyo skills you have now. Well, that's true. Everything I know about dealing with the spirit world was taught to me by my grandfather when I was little. Back then, I listened to everything he said, and I studied really hard, too. So you're saying Seimei had a big influence on your desire to become an Onmyoji? Mm. Well, now when you put it like that, I'd always thought the decision to become an Onmyoji was my own. Wait a minute. Do you suppose that Grandfather has been plotting to make me an Onmyoji all along? What makes you think that? Well, one thing I know for sure is Grandfather seemed to be really happy when I told him I wanted to become an Onmyoji. <gasps> that confirms it! Grandfather's been manipulating me all this time! <gasps> He's really infuriating! Calm down! But then if that's true, why did Grandfather seal my second sight away from me when I was a little boy? If he wanted me to be an Onmyoji all along, then there was really no point in doing that, was there? People who have second sight are feared by supernatural beings. There was the possibility that they would have tried to exterminate you before you could grow up. That's probably just what Seimei feared. Well, I guess that makes sense, but it still caused me a lot of trouble in the past. And it's put me behind everyone else. But it's not a problem anymore since you got your second sight back. I suppose you have a point. <clears throat> back then, uh, I was never far from Grandfather for long. And it was pretty rare for me to leave the house. Even without my second sight... Hey, wait. It was right around that time that I almost fell into the pond. Uh, hmm? Whoa, that's weird. How did I almost fall into that pond? <sighs> I remember there was no one around. So how did I suddenly end up falling? <laughs> now I remember. Somebody saved me. Ah, how could I possibly have forgotten that? An evil demon must have snuck in and pushed you, hoping you'd fall in and drown. Uh? After all, those things are frightened of you even if you can't see them. That's why they must have tried to get rid of you while you were still a kid. Don't go near the water. You might fall in. Mokun, don't tell me. Or at least that's what Seimei once told me. Oh, right. <sighs> Ah, but that was close. If you had fallen in, we'd be having this conversation on the other side. You've always been a real handful, Seimei's grandson. Don't call me grandson! Ah. 
So, now that you've given up on reading the star charts, what exactly are you planning to do with that divination board? I was thinking about using the divination board to help me figure out the cause of the fire. Wouldn't you think the other Onmyoji would have done that uh, by now? What else can you find out by doing more of the same thing? <sighs> Good point. If you want to try divination, why don't you try it on the strange presence that you sensed on the day it happened? Huh? Oh, I get it. You were the only one who sensed that demonic presence, so you should try divining that. Try to sense the demonic presence instead of the fire. Right! Good luck. Huh? Did you say something? Nothing. Mm. You may not know it, but you brought light into my life. It comes. I think it's burned all the way down to this point. Hmm, looks like a lot of damage. It's probably because the wind was working against us. That may be, but we still have no idea what caused the fire. Yukinari-sama! It's been quite a while! Masahiro Dono, I'm sorry that I haven't been in contact with you myself. I accepted the role as your guardian, but I have been so busy with the work here, I've neglected you. Hey, that's right. You promised you would fulfill your duty as Masahiro's guardian after his coming of age. <laughs> What's with that? It's not like the guy can, you know, see or hear me. Uh, yeah, that's right. I really appreciate that you're thinking of me. But it really is more important that you finish the repairs here. That may be true, but we haven't made much progress. At this rate, I'm not sure how long it will take to restore it to its former self. I see. This must be a tough job. The work has to be finished on time, and whoever burned down the serial yeah. quarters will have well, to I'm be sure captured you're doing and the very brought best to trial. <laughs> so, Masahiro Dono, have you made any progress on the cause of the fire? Uh, well, not much at all. At least nothing definite. But I plan to keep on investigating till I do. You should only try divination about any one thing once a day, because the initial result will influence all later readings. Isn't that the general rule you were always taught? Well, yeah, that is the rule, but... <laughs> then maybe you should follow the rule. Yeah, you're right. If you're not getting any results after repeatedly trying, then you should stop for now. It's not that I didn't get any results. Huh? I can't understand what I got. Really? I seem to be picking up something bad, something in the capital. That's probably what I sense. Probably? What do you mean by that? Well, to me it feels like something that's very unhappy, unwanted. Something unwanted. Ah, uh, there's too much that I can't figure out. I have an idea. What's that? I'm thinking I need to go out for a little while. Huh? Where are you going? I'm gonna ask someone who'll know more about this than I do. You mean Seimei? Are you nuts? Tanitsu? What is your command, Seimei-sama? Mm, no. On second thought, Masahiro is in good hands. If anything were to go terribly wrong, he would report back. You're the only 
only person I know who would think of questioning common night demons. I was thinking that if the fire was the work of a demon, that if I'm looking for answers, the ones I should ask would be demons. And how do you plan on making them tell you anything? I'll just ask them, while letting them get a glimpse of my prayer beads and maybe my paper talisman. That's asking? Right. It sounds more like threatening to me. Problem is, now that we're out looking for them, I don't see any. Usually the little devils are swarming all over this place. Could it be that they've hidden themselves to my fearsome presence? <sighs> What's bothering you? There's something wrong. The hair stood up on the back of my neck. <sighs> Over there. What the heck is that? Huh? <sighs> is that an ox? Stand back. I'm Gurren, as long as I'm in this form. Gurren's flames are the fires of hell. They should burn anything completely to ash. The fires that burn in deepest darkness. At least, that's the way it should be. That thing should have become a pile of ashes by now. What are you called? Surrender the boy to me. <clears throat> Answer me. Hand him over. The spiritual power hidden within him is unmatched. I will offer up this prey to my master. You'll never offer up Masahiro. You're no Ayakashi. You're just a pathetic god who serves humans. It's true that I descended here in order to serve a human. But... It does not mean I'll be criticized by you. You will regret having insulted the name of Toda! Uh, did you see that? <sighs> Nothing else for me here. I guess I'll offer up this body. Uh. It's gone. Where to go? It wanted to offer Masahiro, but to what master? Huh?
What's wrong, Masahiro? It's definitely different from the ones we fought before. The kids in school make fun of you for saying that, Seimei's grandson. Don't call me that! <laughs> What have you to show me? I see a menace from the west has come to call and disaster will sweep down upon our land. Soon. Mokun! Aha! Just as I thought. You were sleeping on the job again, weren't you? I wasn't sleeping. I'm doing my job preparing the ink. Well, isn't that interesting? You battle ox demons by night and do menial chores like grinding ink by day. This kind of humble task is important, you know. At least that's what father and grandfather are always telling me. It's good to see that you listen to your elders' advice. There are those who would say this kind of work is pointless and meaningless and skip it all together. You know, I was thinking about that demon. I wonder just where that beast came from. Go! Even Gurren's flames couldn't destroy it. And it vanished completely. After what I did, I seriously doubt it survived. Masahiro Dono, huh? have you finished? Yeah, I'll be done soon. The astronomy department's supply seems to be running low, so please deliver them there first. I understand. All right. I gotta get this finished. <sighs> Surrender the boy to me. Hand him over. The spiritual power hidden within him is unmatched. I will offer up this prey to my master. His master? In other words, there's another Ayakashi pulling the strings. I finally finished delivering everything. Well, then that means we can go home soon. Uh, uh, uh. What is it? Don't know. I've become extremely tired all of a sudden. Well, you have been working an awful lot these days. I've been overworking myself a bit lately, but I thought it'd be okay. But now I feel completely worn out. Perfect. There's nobody else here. Hey! I thought we were gonna go home! Sorry, but I really need some rest right now. Will you be my lookout while I take a quick nap? Thanks. You're gonna make me stand guard for you while you take a nap? Masahiro! Looks like he's already asleep. Hmm? The floor of the archives. You'd think Seimei's grandson would sleep in a better place. Don't call me grandson. Where am I? Oh, it's Michinaga-sama's house. I haven't been here since the fire. I wonder if Akiko's doing okay. I guess she's gone to bed already. What's that? A dog? But there aren't any dogs on Michinaga's estate. It's the same feeling I had before. Uh -uh. It's Akiko. The demonic presence has gotten more powerful. The demon came from there before. That presence. What is that thing? Kiko! 
I can't move my legs. My feet are stuck to the ground. I found you. No, you don't. You stay away from Akiko. Someone help. Someone please help. Mokun, help. Where are you? Her spiritual power is perfect. Run away, Akiko. Don't just stand there. Mokun, I need you. Beautiful long hair. Delicious. Help her! Masahiro! Goran! Masahiro! Masahiro! Wake up! Wake up! Are you okay? I heard you yell. Oh, Kun, it's you. I guess I'm okay. Were you having a nightmare? What was it about? I'm not sure. I might have been having a vision. A vision? What kind? Uh, I was... In the dream, I was at Michinaga-sama's estate at East Sanjo. <sighs> That's it! I think I saw the true form of the Ayakashi that attacked Akiko the other day. You mean the day of the palace fire? Mm. It was attacking Akiko again. Why would I have a dream like that? The dreams of the Onmyoji usually have meaning. Especially the dreams of an Onmyoji with second sight as powerful as yours. <sighs> Describe to me in detail exactly what the demon in your dream looked like. Uh, hold on. Its body was large but resembled that of a rat. And its head was like a snapping turtle. Its voice sounded like the voice of a dog. That description doesn't sound familiar. It's another demon you don't recognize? So you're saying it's like that ox demon we fought yesterday? Come on, let's go see what Seimei thinks. Duh! Uh, uh, what? What? What is this? Hmm? Oh, this is the Sengaikyo. Sengaikyo? It's a book from the Tang Dynasty, a country in the far west beyond the ocean. It summarizes the demons and fairies of the mountains and rivers over there. They're from across the ocean? That's it. If what we've been seeing are foreign demons, it's not surprising that I don't recognize them. <sighs> Look, there are more volumes to this book. All right. What do you plan to do? Dig them all out and read them, of course. Hmm? Masahiro. Uh, hi, Father. I'm surprised you haven't gone home yet. There's something important I want to investigate. I was planning on staying overnight here, if that's okay with you. You're planning to stay here tonight? I am. I was wondering if you'd tell Mother I won't be home for dinner. Well, I guess that's okay. Thanks, Dad. I'll see you soon. Huh? <clears throat> Yoshimasa. So it was you. You put the Sengaikyo in the archive so that he would find it. Pardon? I'm not sure what you mean. You're a good father. Come on, Mokun, let's go! Right! So he calls him Mokun. He certainly picked a most unusual name for the most notorious of the Shikigami, Toda. Masahiro is not at all afraid of Toda. And I guess that fact alone proves that he's truly the grandson of Seimei. I found one of them! Huh? Look! It's this! Which one? The ox-like demon. It's called... Go... I can't read it. I don't know this character. It's something like, uh, Goetsu or something. This mountain is 400 kilometers wide, and there is a beast on its peak. Its form is like an ox with a white body and four horns. And its coarse coat is like straw. That's our demon. That's the one from yesterday. Looks like there's a foreign shadow in this capital after all. Next up is the demon from your dream. Keep reading. Yeah. The 
This is the one. I saw it in my dream. Bonbon. Bon. Uh, did you find it? This is it. It's called Bonbon, bon and it looked like this. It has the body of a rat, the head of a turtle, and the voice of a howling dog. <laughs> That's definitely it. That means your dream definitely was a vision after all. These are foreign demons that cross the ocean from the far west. They're monsters like nothing you or I have ever seen before. So, what do we do? No matter what it takes, I have to find this demon Bonbon. Uh, how are you gonna find it? The capital is huge. I'm gonna have to find the demons in this area and ask them. If anybody can tell me where it is, they can, right? I'm sure they're hiding somewhere in fear. We've come really far outside the capital. But I'm sure they're here. I can feel a slight presence in there. I'm thinking they're making a point of not letting anyone see them. I'm sensing a large number of them hiding around here. We won't be able to find them very easily if they're hiding in a place like this. Well, okay, where the heck are they? This place is full of dust. Mm -hmm. Mokun, you okay? Mokun? I'll be just fine. Don't worry about me. Whatever works for you. It's the grandson. Still has such a young grandson? It seems that he's been made to run errands in the Anya dorms. He's still immature, isn't he? What? He's no big deal, is he? Oh, he's not getting the recognition he should for being Seibei's grandson. How could it be? Keep a cold head. Don't listen to what they're saying. They're just trying to antagonize you. You don't have to tell me. Is that a Mononoke riding on his shoulder? Huh? It's a Shikigami. Children own Shikigamis. I've been searching for you demons since yesterday. I have something I need to ask you. Uh, Mokun? What's wrong? You might want to move. Uh. Ooh. Ow! Uh. You suppose you could have warned me? Didn't I warn you to move away just now? So you shouldn't blame me. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, you guys. Have any of you seen any unfamiliar demons around here the last few nights? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Hey, you know uh -huh. something, don't you? We came here because we want information about some demons. Uh -huh. What is it? Uh -huh. What will you do if we tell you? I'm going to seek them out and then I'm going to exercise them. Exercise them! You think you can do that? He may not look like much now, but he is Seimei's grandson, so give the kid a chance, because he might become a great Anmyoji. Well, someday. Shut up, Mokun! <laughs> what I saw was a demon like an ox. It killed many of my fellow demons near the Rasho Gate, it did. That must have been Goetsu. I saw one that hid itself in black smoke and chased my friend. It chased him down the street and right into one of the buildings you humans treasure so much. Into the palace? Mmm. He was... He was chased inside. And seeing that it was hopeless, he gave up and gathered up his last strength to burn his own body in order to warn us to run away. So that's why the palace burned. I'll bet it was that demon called Bonbon, bon, Mokun. I'll bet. We all came here to escape so it wouldn't be able to find us. No, the one I saw was different. It was more terrifying. Uh, 
More terrifying in what way? It sounds like the one that demon called Goetsu said was his master. Can you describe it? What kind of demon did you see? It was... What I saw was... It's a darkness. But it's... It's like a black shadow, deeper than any darkness. It chased down my comrades and it swallowed them up. It seems that's how it builds up its power. I think it's time we put an end to all of you! That's Bon Bon! The demon from your dream! No doubt about it. It's the foreign demon from the Sengai Q. <laughs> it's attacking! Filthy beast! <laughs> That's enough! I'm not gonna let you get away with this! <laughs> Why are you saying that? It's their fate to be eaten by us! Their end is the same, whether it's now or later! <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> Trap him! Right. By Imperial Command of the Jade Emperor. Charm of the Sacred Treasure! Find this evil and trap ten thousand! Demons now! won't get very far away. It's probably gone back to its master. <clears throat> it's important that you tell me, the terrifying demon you saw, do you remember which direction it was headed? The time I saw it, it was headed toward Ukyo, but I don't know where it ended up. That's right, that's right. A ridiculously large house outside Ukyo. I used to live in that house. I remember seeing that awful thing go in there before. That must be it! <clears throat> this is it. There's something strange going on here. The insects aren't making any noise. I noticed. I don't like how quiet it is here. It's making me nervous. What is it? This is... That's... Koetsu. Nothing else for me here. I guess I'll offer up this body. I guess... It really sacrificed itself. When it couldn't get to me, it offered up its own body to its master. <laughs> Masahiro! Something strange going on here. The
The insects aren't making any noise. I noticed. I don't like how quiet it is here. It's making me nervous. <clears throat> Masahiro! It's there. I sense a powerful evil presence, and it's neither Bonbon nor is it Goetsu. Yeah, there are foreign demons all around here. We will offer you to our master! A prey that is like no other. This child wields the finest spiritual power. You don't really think I'd let lackeys like you even touch Masahiro. They're attacking! Masahiro, look behind you. On Hando Madara Bokejani! Soro Soro Soka! Gorin! The leader of these demons is probably around here somewhere! Then I'll clear a path. <laughs> before using your spells. There's a limit to your spiritual and physical energy. I know that! <sighs> what is that thing? You've come so far merely to be eaten. He's the one all the demons acknowledge as their master. Oh, child, who wields the finest spiritual power? Become my sacrifice! It's Kyuki. His name is Kyuki? A powerful ancient demon said to come from a land in the west. He appears as a bull, but legend has it he can transform into a tiger with wings. And he's also known to feast upon women with long hair. So that's why Bonbon was after Akiko. Her spiritual power is perfect. Beautiful long hair. Delicious. <laughs> Such an evil aura! Ugh. So you're afraid? Well, you should be. Silence. Now I want to know why you came to this city from the distant lands of the West. To create a place for me to live. After healing his wounds, that is. It looks like you lost a fight with another demon over territory. <sighs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Charm up the sacred treasure and trap the demons now! Masahiro! and let Gorin be torn apart like that. Your struggle is in vain. I just need a moment. If there's any chance that I can make a small opening... Masahiro! Where are you? Masahiro! Masahiro! I desire while lying below. Don't do it! You gotta stop doing that spell! Masahiro! I'll create a distraction so you can escape. You've done enough. Go back to Grandfather. You're his Shikigami. And I can't let you die this way. Stop it now, Masahiro! Come to me, Blade of Light. Cut through the darkness. Sword of Lightning, slash this place with your silver light. Come to me! Come forth now, oh magnificent lightning! I shouldn't have. I summoned the lightning spirit so you could escape. What a stupid thing to do. You hurt so badly. Even the 12 Shikigami spirits aren't immortal, you know. What if you were to die out here? No, I won't die. And if you were to die, I'd really be in deep trouble. Why is that? You said that to me once before. You gave me light in a way you're not even aware of. In a time you don't remember. I did? Those with the second sight always feared me. But only you. You didn't flinch at my presence. Me, Toda, whom everyone else feared. You looked me straight in the eye. <laughs> and smiled. You changed me forever to keep your incomparable strength pure. Oh. I vowed that I would protect you. 
from the first day I met you and for all time. What do you mean, Gurren? Why did you do that? You are going to become an Anmyoji. The ultimate Anmyoji, one that will surpass even Seimei. You are not gonna die. Not in a place like this. If you were to die here, I wouldn't have any reason to live either. You are my friend, Mokun, and I cannot let you die. If you did, I'd miss you. <laughs> I will become a great on Mioji, and I want you to be there to see it. <sighs> if you die in a place like this, I'll never forgive you. Listen to me, you filthy foreign demons! You're seriously pissing me off! I will never give up! Om Bazarajiri! You can't do it, Masahiro! <laughs> at all what the who is that man the other three with him are shikigami interesting one with even more power than that child i will eat you both <laughs> don't be so sure honor the power within O oh spirits that descended before the dawn of man you foolish priest <laughs> Extinguish the hundred demons, put down the evil. Behind you! On Kirikiri Bazara Uahata! Masahiro! I I'm okay. I told you to ease up. But I can't sit here and do nothing. <laughs> Ten thousand demons and four. What is this? Oh, Gurren, how are you feeling? Huh? I'm healed everywhere. Nothing hurts at all. I've never heard of such a powerful Onmyoji. He's the most amazing thing I've ever seen. I always thought my grandfather was the best there is. He's gone. Masahiro, I want to go home. Uh, mm. So you're not hurt at all? I'm fine. Shall we go? Mm. Uh. Uh. <sighs> that was a long night. Mokun, you should get some rest too. Where did he go? Mokun, where are you going? Hey, Mokun, wait! Grandfather's probably sleeping! Seimei, uh, what were you trying to do? Uh, Seimei! Wake up, Seimei! When 
wonder what he's yelling about. Ugh. You're one of the 12 Shikigami spirits. I am known as Tanitsu. Don't be shy. Please come right in. Spirit projection is dangerous. What if your body had been attacked while your soul was out running around? That would have been the end of you. I would never make such an error. I had Seryu and Genbu here to keep an eye on me. Nothing to worry about. But you're not exactly a young man anymore. Mm. Hmm? Oh, well, hello, Masahiro. You're back from your adventure. If you can't handle a situation like that without getting into trouble, there's no way I'll be able to retire with a clear conscience now, is there? Uh -huh. Even though I vowed I wouldn't interfere, I was forced to get involved and bail you out. Ah? Uh -huh. Grandfather, what do you mean by bail me out? When Seme sensed that you were in over your head, he sent his spirit out to give you a hand. And you didn't even realize that. You're a total bonehead. That's just the way Seme is. Hey, I know you! Your training has just begun, kid. Hmm. Hmm? Hold on a second. You're saying that it was you who showed up with the Shikigami spirits and saved our butts just in the nick of time? And you did that by transporting your spirit out of your body? Mm-hmm. Masahiro, the demons are just scattered for now, but they're always hiding somewhere nearby. It breaks my heart when I think about all the time I spent teaching you the ways of the Onmyoji. You should be able to wipe out a demon like that yourself single-handedly. <laughs> At this rate, how do you intend to follow in my footsteps and become the ultimate Onmyoji? It's all my fault. I failed you as a mentor and your dreams will be shattered and never realized. Oh, how sad. Your grandfather is so very sad. But I get it already. I'll go back out there and I'll slay those demons once and for all and that's the end of it. Oh. I'm going to bed now, so good night. <laughs> I've always been able to goad him into doing what I want him to do. Say, May, keep doing that and he'll start hating you. Oh, I wouldn't worry about that. <sighs> Everything I do is because I love my grandson very much, even though it might not look like it sometimes. <sighs> and you, Gurren, you could stand a bit more discipline yourself. <clears throat> but I think you know this. Isn't that why you gave up your position as my Shikigami? What I wanted was to always be able to protect Masahiro. And I will protect him. And I'll take care of my own life as well. Mm. Mm. with that little lecture about how he failed me as a mentor and all that stuff about how my dreams will be shattered and never realized. Ah, how the heck can a human Omnioji project his spirit out of his body the way a demon ah, does? Ah, ah, ah. Not only that, if he was watching from the beginning, he should have been there to help before Gurren got hurt. If Shikigami get hurt, it's painful for them too. They bleed just like us, a nasty old geezer. I take the blame myself for just being a beginner on Miyoji, but still, but still, but still! <laughs> Mo, come! Yeah! I'm gonna do it! I'm gonna destroy all those demons and I'll do it by myself! But I'm gonna need your help! <laughs> I'll do it! You'll see! You watch me, you sneaky old geezer! Father, why haven't you come back to get me yet? Even though you said you'd be back as soon as possible. <laughs> Grandfather left me alone up here. <laughs> What's that hammering sound? <laughs> Grandfather! You're a horrible grandfather, leaving me alone in a place like this! I can't breathe. It's so heavy. I can't breathe. Grandfather, you're inhuman. Uh, uh, uh.
Ah, Mononoke. Ah, no, Mononoke! Ow! Oh, Ow. Mononoke was Moku. Ow! D Don't call me a Mononoke! Oh. Is something wrong? I was just dreaming about Kifune. Kifune? Do you mean Kifune of Kifune Mountain? That's it. I had a dream about the night my grandfather abandoned me at the Kifune Shrine when I was a child. Oh? You won't believe it, Mokun. That mean old geezer said, I have work to do, so just wait right here. On top of that, he tied me to a tree with a rope and just left me there. <sighs> Kifune was really quiet and spooky at night. Then suddenly, I heard the ghostly sound of a hammer driving nails into something. After leaving me alone tied to that tree, Grandfather came back the next morning. He smiled at me and said, So sorry, I had work to do and couldn't come back. I haven't believed anything that man has said since that night. Masahiro, uh, I hate to interrupt your reminiscing, but isn't it time to leave for the Onmyo dorms? Uh. Uh. <sighs> That's one of Grandfather Shikigami, isn't it? Uh. Mokun? Uh, Is there something bothering you? Uh, well, sorry. What was that? So what is he called? Seiryu. One of the twelve Shikigami spirits. It looks like he's angry about something. Never mind him. The reason he looks that way is because he hates me. Huh? Yeah. Seriously, just forget you ever saw him. Listen, if you don't hurry up, you'll never get there on time. Ugh. Toda, you're nothing but a traitor in a false form, and I'll never forgive you. It's so hot out. This heat, it's too much. Huh? Masahiro don't know. You're working very hard today, aren't you? Yes, these letters are for the court's music department. Ah, oh, it's very hot today, isn't it? You're right, it's very hot. And on top of that, we haven't seen a drop of rain in nearly two months. Yeah, and if it doesn't rain soon, there'll be a drought for sure. Well, before a drought has a chance to set in, the Mikado will pray to the dragon oh. god of Kifune Mountain for rain. Uh, Kifune? Oh, by the way, I saw Seimei-sama just a little while ago. It's almost time for the Kiko Festival, so I'm sure Grandfather came here to make preparations for that. Every year, it seems that Seimei-sama becomes even busier. Considering his age, it's truly amazing that he's so energetic. That man's just a foxy old geezer, and you shouldn't trust him one bit. Huh? Here's some letters from the Onmyo dorms. Thank you very much. Uh, oh. Wait a second, Mokun. Where are you going? <laughs> Mokun, what are you doing? Huh. Who cares about having huh? a Seime? Acting so high and mighty, even though he's just an Onmyoji. He obtained the Minister of the Left's trust. He's said to be an impressive Onmyoji. According to rumors, no one knows his birth lineage. Legend has it that he was mothered by a fox. I can't believe we have to depend on someone like that. But if you say anything bad about him, he will curse you and you'll die horribly. Uh, how frightening! It's unspeakable! What happened? What's wrong? <laughs> it's a crisis! And a Yakushi tried to attack us! Call it on Miyoji! Call Seime Domo! <laughs> a Nayakushi? Masahiro, did you find something? It's him. It's who? <laughs> Yuki, right. Uh, a 
powerful demon from the West. I just wonder where he could be hiding right now. What do you think? Which direction do you suppose we should patrol tonight, Mokun? You know, Masahiro, mm. wouldn't it be good for you to get a night or two of real rest? When's the last time you had a full night's sleep, huh? You work in the Omnio dorms all day and search for Kyuki all night! It's gonna be okay. Besides, I took a little nap after dinner, all right? Not only that, I told Grandfather that I'd find Kyuki and exercise him once and for all. You take your promises seriously, but... Uh... <laughs> Not again! Listen, you guys, this is getting really old. I'm tired of you pouncing on me all the time. You're going to look for the demon from the West tonight, too, right? We beg you to get rid of it for us right away. Tonight we found comrades of ours that had been ripped in half. What's that? I need to know where that happened. North of Ukio. But there's no trace of its aura left at all. It appears and disappears just like that. This thing is really terrifying. What are you gonna do? I think we should go out there and take a look. We may not find anything, but maybe there'll be some clues. We're begging you! Please hurry and get rid of it! We're, We're depending, depending on you, you same as grandson! Stop calling me that! This should be the place the minor demons were talking about. Oh, yeah. But still, I'm not sensing the demon's aura. Not even a trace. I've noticed that demon is being especially careful to erase all traces of its aura. All the Biran got Sherak done! He got away. This man doesn't look like he was hurt at all. If you ask me, he's just passed out. That Ayaka she was... Uh, it's still running. Hey, it's headed toward... The Imperial Palace. It's down that road. Smart as Ayaka she is it. Ow! Uh, hold on! The path ahead shall become unpassable! Abira Anka! Don't let your guard down! I know that already! Oh, Nabira Anka and Shiara Kitan! Is it actually crying? Seems to be. But it was trying to attack that man back there, wasn't it? Guess we should ask it what's up. Ah, <laughs> uh, you don't have to be afraid, but what did you do to that human back there? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh. What did it tell you, Mokun? I want you to exercise this demon now, Masahiro! Huh? Cowardly, useless demon is an embarrassment, and you should exercise it right this minute! 
Wait, calm down, Mokun. Tell me what it said to you. Ugh. It said while it was rolling around town, it found a drunk who had fallen down. It was worried and went to look, but the drunk got startled and passed out. That's when an Onmyoji appeared, and then the coward got scared and ran away. Duh. By Onmyoji, did it mean me? Yes. He really is just a crybaby. Oh, no, that's just pathetic. If you're a demon, you should toughen up and act like one. Get a backbone, you yellow bellied ox cart. I can't this believe This thing isn't no. such a bad guy. <sighs> <sighs> Unbind the immovable rope. Loosen the knot. A beer on gun. Okay, you can go. Don't worry about it. You don't have to bow. From now on, if you're gonna roll around town, do it where people can't see you. <sighs> Bye, Kuromonosuke! You actually gave the stupid thing a name? I'm glad it was a good demon. <sighs> <laughs> what the? Would you please stop jumping on me? We, we need your help. help! Another of our comrades was killed, he was! <gasps> Just like the last time, the foreign demon's aura is nowhere to be found. I know. I just wish I could have done something. What could you do? Even I didn't know about this. It means I'll just have to train even harder. What possible good can that 13-year-old uh -huh. boy do? What's bothering you, Seryu? What's making you so angry tonight? So you're trying to tell me that some little brat who mingles with minor demons, and who can't even sense the difference in the auras of foreign demons, is really an heir of yours? Say me, seriously. Yes, that's right. That boy is my only heir and successor. Now, Gurren has acknowledged that fact and backs him up. I'll never believe anything that Toda says. Say me, you're the only one I'll ever acknowledge as my master. And I will never allow that child to command me. It won't happen right away, but the day will come that I leave this world. And by that time, he will be ready. Why are you so hard-headed? When that time comes, I will give up being a Shikigami and return to my world. I can never trust a child that Toda endorses. Hmm. They beg you to listen to Siryu's words. I agree. Toda's not to be trusted. In your world, what happened between you and Toda was a long time ago. But in our world, it's as if it happened only yesterday. The only reason he didn't put an end to you is because of your incredible good luck. Hmm. So a Shikigami spirit who believes in luck? Luck had nothing to do with it. It was destiny. But that will all end soon. Hmm? Oh, Seimei-sama. Well, you mustn't forget that all living things change eventually. When the time comes, trees and flowers change their form. The same rule applies to people's hearts. Not just for the hearts of mortals, but the hearts of gods as well. And I include Gurren in that. A misunderstanding gave birth to more misunderstanding. And that has led us to our current situation. If one has a heart, one can feel pain, so you can't assume that Gurren feels nothing, can you? You should rethink your position on this, since it would be a huge mistake to assume anything. I want you to pass this on to the others. Tell them Masahiro is the only person who holds the potential to be my successor. I know the day will come when you will understand this. I'm not so sure about that. Riku, I thought you were around. Hmm. The prospects are looking pretty grim. Huh? Uh. Oh, it's Grandfather. Now then, it seems like Kyuki and the others aren't showing themselves. Yeah. However... Uh you said that you would defeat them by yourself. 
and that you would do it without letting anyone else know about them. I will. I'm trying my hardest. Hmm, right. By the way, Masahiro, huh? you used a spell this afternoon to frighten the government officials, didn't you? What? How did you find out? Oh. What were you thinking? Well, no. Uh, well, that is, I, well, I didn't... I can't believe you used a spell to harass people in the Imperial Palace of all places. Oh, in the past, you used to be a good and obedient child. What are you trying to say? Oh, has everything I've taught you been a total waste of time? I can't die in peace if you're going to be so horrible. Stop talking huh? like that. I apologize for using a spell to play a prank on them. I'll be more careful from now on. And I'll never do that again, okay? <laughs> it looks like he's going to be all right. It looks like he's going to tear his room apart. Listen to me, Gurren. I really wish you would forgive Seryu. I think it's the other way around. I'm the one who needs forgiveness, aren't I? I broke the code of the Shikigami, committed a terrible sin. That's all in the past. It's time we moved on. Now you have Masahiro. That boy's strength and good heart will help make things a bit easier for you. You believe that? Well, maybe so. Masahiro, there is something I can never tell you. It's that Toda that I once tried to kill Abe no Seimei. That rotten old geezer! <laughs> No matter what it takes, I'll become better than him! And no matter what, I'd better do it quickly. Ah, there you go, messing up your room again. Uh, sorry. Uh, I'm the one who cleans up around here, so... Uh, 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 what is this? Mokun, it looks to me like you have something on your mind. Uh, so what's bothering you? Have you got a stomach ache? That's not it. You know, if something hurts, it's best to talk about it. Mm -hmm. No one else would know that there's something bothering you because no one else can see you. And if you don't say anything, there's no way to resolve your feelings. <sighs> Damn you. Damn you, you insolent child. You will pay. <sighs> Master, what happened during our absence? <laughs> Even though he's young, this child is a priest. An onmyoji, as they say in this country. A failure such as this. All those gathered here are prepared to give their lives. Makaku! Our master's wound cannot be healed using their power alone. Shun, I know, but a good sacrifice is... Master, in order to heal your wound, that girl is needed after all. She is a fitting sacrifice for you, Master. We will bring her back for you. Do as you wish. I grow weary and need rest. We understand. Who is it? What's going on? Akiko-sama. Who is it? Hello, Akiko-sama. Please come out to the garden and visit me. Keiko? Sama? It has been a while. It's very dark out here tonight. I can't see you clearly from here. Won't you come out and join me in the moonlight? Guys, <sighs> you! Mm. <sighs> Princess! Princess! 
She disappeared. Princess Akiko, is something the matter? Is there an intruder in here? No, it's nothing. But Princess, I got up to look at the sunrise, but since it was still dark, I couldn't see where I was going. And that's when I knocked over the screen. That's all there is to it. So please don't tell my father. The whole thing's kind of embarrassing. Yes, miss. I won't. You can leave if you want to. Very well. Excuse us. The charm that Sami Sama gave me, what happened? Okay, okay, I'll be right up. I need some more of that. Hello, Masahiro Donald. It's not progressing as quickly as I would have hoped. I'm in charge of restoring the Serio quarters to their original state, but. Well, if it isn't Yukinari Sama, haven't seen you in a while. Oh, Yukinari, haven't jumped on you in a while. Oh, mm -mm. Ah, you're a cruel young boy, Masahiro! How are you? The Kiko Festival is nearing, so you must be busy these days. Yes, but I'm just delivering letters and looking for festival supplies, that sort of thing. It's really only busy work. Any work that you do to help others is good. That's true, and I do my best. Hmm, that's right. Recently, pay. there's been a strange oh, yes, rumor among will. the court officials. You will pay. Have you heard anybody talking about it at the Onmyo dorms? No, nothing. I haven't heard any rumors at all. Do you have any idea what it's about? It seems a demoness appears at Kifune Mountain at night and is heard hammering nails. Kifune demoness? Then she's trying to put a curse on someone. Well, it is just a rumor after all. And since you haven't heard about it at the Onmyo dorms, I can assume that there's no basis for the story. I... I guess... Kifune... <laughs> Grandfather left me alone up here. <laughs> What's that hammering sound? <laughs> Grandfather! Uh, Masahiro! <gasps> hey, are you alright? You were spacing out there. Weren't you on your way to see Seimei? Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, Yukinari-sama. I... I better go. Okay. I've taken up a lot of your time talking about ghost stories. You should run along. I'll see you soon. I understand, sir. I'm relying on you. Grandfather! I heard you wanted to see me, so I ran over as soon as I could. Yes, I almost forgot. Actually... According to this letter I received, a disturbing event is unfolding at the East Third Residence. Michinaga-sama's house? Masahiro, I want you to go in my place. Yes, sir. Hmm. Wait a minute, I know the scent. Mm-hmm. Sami-sama sent Masahiro to visit me? I'm glad to hear that. Pardon me, Princess, but you shouldn't expose yourself to a young man. Well, that's silly. Why do I have to keep the blinds lowered? I can't see him at all. It's customary. Well, it's annoying not being able to see the other person's face. You know, actually, I think you can still see pretty well through these blinds. What was that, Masahiro? Princess! Mm. It's all right! Uh, Are you trying to tell me that you would rather talk to me with the blinds closed? So that's not what I meant. I was just trying to be polite, Akiko. You insolent boy. You never call a princess by her name. Uh, you're right. I'm sorry. That's enough, Utsugi. I have something to talk about with Masahiro alone. I'll call you if I need you. Princess Akiko, I'm afraid I can't do that. It's perfectly all right. Masahiro is a completely respectable Onmyoji who my father holds in highest regard, so there's no problem. But miss, I... Utsugi... Yes, miss. <laughs> uh, so you were the one who sent my grandfather this letter, is that right? Are you having problems with demons? Masahiro, there's something important that I need to show you. Follow me. Uh -huh. Look at this. That looks like a charm used to curse people. Wait, no, it's a protection charm. Sami Sama gave it to me. He said it's a talisman that would protect me from evil forces and spirits. But as you can see, there are cracks in it, and it's become all cloudy and pale. The barrier's been weakened as well. And looking at this charm, I'd say that something evil has been here. Mm. Have you seen a demon like the one from before recently? Mm -mm. I was visited by a princess. Her name is Fujiwara no Keiko-sama. 
She's a distant relative, and just before dawn, she appeared in our garden. I sensed an evil presence near her. It was big and dark and scary. I couldn't see it very well, but I'm pretty sure it felt like the demon that we saw before. It had an evil aura about it, something dark and sinister. And once dawn finally came, I wrote a letter to Keiko Sama. The messenger quickly returned with an urgent reply from her mother. Keiko Sama had fallen very ill and everyone was terribly worried. That's when I asked father's permission to visit her. I went over to her house to see her in person. Ah, oh, when I got there, there was so much evil energy surrounding her. It was painful. Keiko Sama? You finally come, Keiko Sama. Come closer where I can see your face. Please come closer to me and take my hand. There's a place where I must go, and I want you to come along. Please come and join me. She wanted you to go with her? Did she say where? No, she didn't. But I'm very scared because she said she would come for me tonight. She said tonight? That's right, before the break of dawn. Mm. You gotta help Gego Sama Masi here, I'm begging you. And Onmyoji's job is to save people, right? And Onmyoji helps people in trouble, doesn't he? I'll help you. At the very least, I can go pay her a visit. Thank you, Masahiro. It's my pleasure. And if I notice anything is wrong, I'll make sure to come back and check on you later. How will you check on me later? After nightfall, I'll sneak back in. You will? Uh, I was wondering, would it be possible to get a letter just in case I bump into any guards on the way in? <laughs> Hold on just a second. While you do that, I'll see what I can do about repairing that barrier for you, okay? I appreciate that, Masahiro. Arabati, chiriti, chiritahati. That should do it, at least for now. That should be enough to keep her safe for the time being, don't you think, Mokun? Hmm, should hold for now, but this barrier definitely needs a complete repair as soon as possible. She should be safe as long as she stays inside the building. Here you go. If you show them this, they should let you through. Mm. <sighs> Oh, yeah, that reminds me. This scent has the power to repel and exclude evil, so keep it with you at all times. Oh, look, it's the sachet I gave you before. I always kept it with me, so it should be more powerful than it was. Always? Uh, no, I mean, um, I like that scent, and I just... <sighs> so, you actually made that scent yourself, didn't you, Akiko? You're pretty good at that. You think so? I'm happy you like it. Then I'll give you this one. We're exchanging one for the other. <laughs> Hello! Paging Masahiro! Uh, I guess I should get going. Oh, I forgot to tell you. Definitely do not leave your quarters before sunrise. Uh, got it! Princess Fujiwara no Keiko's mansion is ahead. It should be right down this street. <sighs> There's Kifune Mountain. It's dead ahead. Hey, didn't Yukinari-sama tell us that there was a rumor of a demoness appearing who could be heard hammering nails every night? From here, I'm not sensing any unusual auras. There are local officials and Shinto priests up on Kifune. So if a demoness had actually appeared, I'm sure they'd have reported it to the Imperial Corps. What? Everyone's gone. Where do they go? Uh, what is that? Mokun, look there. Don't interfere, little boy. I know you. Princess Fujiwara no Keiko. I cannot allow you to get in my way. You cannot interfere with me. You must stop this now. If you stop this now, you may survive the night. I know that shadow. Army of light that fights the forces of darkness. You must stop what you're doing. Go forth and destroy the evil. Ha! Get behind me, Masahiro. It's a foreign demon. There's no mistaking that aura. Understand this. I will not let you interfere! Uh. It looks like she's gone. Are you all right? That was really careless. I can't believe I didn't notice we'd been pulled inside a barrier. I didn't notice it myself, honestly. And Seimei's gonna give me hell when we get back home. Well, before that... We're gonna have to pay a little visit to Princess Keiko's mansion.
It's already been two weeks. The prince she was supposed to marry changed his mind and married another princess. My daughter was so heartbroken that she fell sick and lost her will to live. We were supposed to spend our lives together, but it wasn't his fault, really. I was told... A selfish princess swore that she would marry no one but him. The selfish princess is from a noble family. And since I'm only a member of the Fujiwara clan, hers was a higher caste. He couldn't refuse. But I'll make it right. I'll make it right! I think the best thing to do would be to have a ceremonial incantation. Once we've driven the evil spirits out of her, I believe the princess will return to normal. Please, I beg you. Please save my darling Keiko. I can't bear seeing her like this any longer. She's everything to me. Hmm. I see what you mean. She was heartbroken when the prince betrayed her, and then she became very ill. That's when the foreign demons took advantage of her. Probably. Probably? <sighs> totally unacceptable. Saying probably doesn't show very much confidence in your theory. Well, no, that's not what I really meant. When people are in need of help, the last thing they want to hear from the Anmyoji is something foolish like probably. Well, I guess that's true. As I suspected, everything I taught you was for nothing. Even though my days are numbered, how can I pass away knowing you're acting with such reckless abandon? Don't talk like that! I apologize for saying probably. It was wrong, but... Listen, Princess Keiko has been possessed and I will make it my mission to exercise the demons. Excuse me. <sighs> Say, May, you do know he's just gonna go crazy and tear up his room again. It's good for the boy. He should go a little crazy. He'd explode if he tried to keep all his feelings inside him. <laughs> <sighs> well, back to Princess Keiko. Masahiro did a ritual spell for her, but I don't know. We're not really sure if it's gonna do any good. That poor woman is much more deeply possessed than we'd suspected. There's nothing sadder or more frightening than a woman whose feelings have been scorned. I'll leave Masahiro in your hands. Mm. Just you watch, you sneaky old geezer! I'll definitely be better than you! Starting now! All right. I'm bringing it with me because it has the power to repel evil demons. I'm just sitting here minding my own business. Mwah! That boy is What are you doing? What's wrong with you? What was that all about? I'm sprinkling you with aloes wood. It repels evil spirits, you know. You should be grateful that I gave you some. <laughs> There's a lot more than just aloes wood in that mix. I didn't know that. That's pathetic. You should at least be able to tell the difference. Let's go, smart guy. Hmm. <laughs> <gasps> Akiko! Masahiro, what are you doing sneaking around out here? You're the one sneaking around out here. You shouldn't be out at night, especially not without an escort. What if you were to run into bandits? Then what would you do? Don't be angry. I was just really worried about Keiko-sama. And since you told me earlier that you'd be going to her mansion tonight, I just thought I'd tag along. <sighs> Sorry to bother you. No matter what I said, Akiko, I really think you should go back home. I don't want to. I'm begging you. Take me along. No way. Why not? Listen to me, Akiko. Just because you can see a Yakashi doesn't mean that you can help here. Can you protect yourself against demons and spirits when they attack? I didn't <sighs> think so. This isn't some kind of game we're playing here. This is life or death. So if you start following me around, you'll just get in the way. <laughs> what did you do that for? That's enough, Masahiro. Uh... Akiko's already feeling really bad, so just stop. It's almost the time that Princess Keiko said she would come for Akiko. So if we don't get her home soon... Uh, I'll walk you home, Akiko. I'm really sorry. I'm ready to go home. 
<gasps> I'm the one who should apologize. <gasps> it's that aura! <gasps> <gasps> It's Kiko-sama! Oh my, Kiko-sama. You didn't need to come all this way, because I was coming to get you myself. You're the priest? Gaku, look at this child. This pathetic boy has almost no power at all. I can see that, Shun. It's a perversion that a child like this ever stood against our master. Now, boy priest, hand over that girl! You heard him, boy. If you do, we just might let you live. Our master commands you hand over that girl. Come with me, Akiko-sama. Join me. Princess Keiko, this isn't really you. You're being used. If I sacrifice Akiko-sama, my wish will be granted, and, and my misery will end tonight. Stand aside! Now, Akiko-sama, the other Adan, stand up, Akarosh, the Sarata Yon, Tarata Kanma! Your spell didn't work! It's fine. Don't worry, I'll protect you. Just stay behind me. <laughs> you pathetic little boy! Gurren! Gurren's your friend? He can handle it. Mm -hmm. You bastard! You're the priest, Shikigami! That small Ayakashi was you, wasn't it? Well, you picked on the wrong Ayakashi! You can only fool me once! Uh, <sighs> God, no! Don't interfere! Ten thousand demons involved! Damn you! All this time, Masahiro's been battling for his life with evil demons? <gasps> uh, Kiko-sama! This foolishness has ended and you're coming with me, Akiko-sama. Once they grant me my wish, the pain will end and my broken heart will be healed forever! What do you mean by a wish? Akiko! <laughs> Masahiro! <laughs> you let her go right now! <laughs> You're a foolish child. I'll kill you here and now. You have a defiant look in your eyes. Why don't I just pull them out? <laughs> What's this? <gasps> the aloe's wood is working! Uh, Keiko, let's go! <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> Akiko, where do they go? Akiko, oh no, they're gone. I promised I'd protect her. I told her I failed. Akiko! Kiko! Oh. Mokun! Masahiro! Are you alright? What about you? Are you hurt? Nothing serious. Just scratches. What's more important is Akiko! They spirited her away and shrouded by foreign shadows. <sighs> Where in the world could they be? Our master commands you hand over that girl. If I sacrifice Akiko-sama, my wish will be granted, and my misery will end tonight. The princess said something about a wish. The prince she was supposed to marry changed his mind and married another princess. This is all about her feelings. Resentment. It seems a demoness appears at Kifune Mountain at night and is heard hammering nails. The demon is of Kifune. It's a curse ceremony. The sound of a nail being driven into something. My dream. The dream I recently had about Kifune. <laughs> Grandfather left me alone up here. The demoness of Kifune is actually Princess Keiko! So that means the demons must be at Kifune. Since it's far removed from towns and villages, it would be the perfect place for them to hide out. But Kifune is a sacred mountain and is guarded by a dragon. The dragon god is a spirit that commands rain and water. Of course, that's it! You're right. It's very hot. 
And on top of that, we haven't seen a drop of rain in nearly two months. Yeah, and if it doesn't rain soon, there'll be a drop for sure. Those demons have used the princess to seal Kifune's god. Princess Keiko's curse, her hatred have poisoned the land of Kifune. Entwined with the power of the foreign demons, she sealed away the dragon god of Kifune. So, they're using Princess Keiko's hatred to seal away the god. <laughs> There's no question, Mokun. Princess Keiko and the demons are at Kifune. So that means they've taken Princess Akiko there and are holding her somewhere on the mountain. And now that we know uh, that... Hey, what are you doing? I figured since you're injured, I'd carry you. I'm fine, put me down. Sir, you... what's wrong? Seimei, the foreign demons kidnapped Fujiwara no Akiko tonight. Huh? What's that? And so, where's Masahiro now? He and Toda have gone after the demons. Tain is chasing an avian Ayakashi and an avenging female spirit. And where the hell were all of you when Princess Akiko was kidnapped? Watching. We wanted to see for ourselves the capabilities of your heir. Sir, you listen. That young boy is destined to be my heir. And what happened between Tota and me? Eh, it's in the distant past. And it nearly cost you your life. Something I won't forget. Hmm. Damn. I'll go help Tain. We'll recover Fujiwara no Kiko ourselves. I recommend you stop thinking so highly of your incompetent grandson. He's not fit to be your heir. One day you'll see for yourselves the true power my grandson has deep inside him. You can continue to doubt his abilities, and if you refuse to work with him, that's up to you. You can go. <sighs> How bad is the situation at this point? <laughs> If you're that curious, why don't you go too? I can't do that. My first duty is always to protect you. You know I couldn't leave your side even if I wanted to. Rikugo. Huh? Masahiro is the only possible person that can succeed me. Tota has acknowledged that and you should too. I see. Then I will accept those words. What a day. Oh. Are you okay, Masahiro? You really should rest. If I don't hurry, Akiko will... Akiko will... Masahiro... But it's too far. At this rate, we'll never make it. Akiko... Uh, hey! Look over there! Something's coming! Uh -huh. Oh, Kurumanosuke? What the heck are you doing here? Wait, Mokun, you gotta ask Kurumanosuke to give us a ride up to Kifune Mountain. Huh? He said that's why he came here. Is that so? A minor demon that was passing by told him what happened, and he came to repay his debt. I see. <clears throat> That'd be a big help, Kurumanosuke. This girl is of the finest quality. She is fitting for our master. A prey unlike any other. This level of spiritual power. It's as if she was made for our master. <laughs> the scent... <sighs> She's wearing has the power to repel demons. We cannot present her to our master like this. Shun, what should we do? There's no need for concern, Gaku. Choda, come here. You would do anything for our master, correct? You show great dedication. No fear. I see. 
<laughs> You're tainting her with Ayakas' blood. Once it's tainted, the scent loses its power. Shun, I've just thought of an amusing game to play with her. Then. What it say, Mokun? Beyond this point, there's a barrier that protects Kifune, and there's no way Kuromanosuke can go through it. I see. Kifune Mountain. <sighs> we appreciate it, Kuromanosuke. Yeah, thanks a lot. Okay. <clears throat> there are only seven nails left, and once I have driven them all into the heart of the mountain, the demons will grant my wish. Soon my prince will be returned and we'll be together forever. <clears throat> there isn't a single firefly inside the barrier. It's so deserted. Nothing. The Kifune Mountain I remember was a holy place with clear air, gentle breezes, and lots of life. <clears throat> What's wrong, Masahiro? <clears throat> Masahiro? Could it be? Are you afraid of the dark? <clears throat> I'm scared. Hurry and come back and get me, Grandfather! Hurry! <sighs> Mokun. Calm down, it's just the dark. Don't be afraid. You are not alone. Don't cry, Masahiro. You don't have to be afraid. It's alright, little friend. I'm here. You're not alone anymore, so you don't have to cry. <sighs> See? It's not so scary now, is it? Thank you, little friend. <clears throat> that sound. It's coming from over there. That's the sound of Princess Keiko's curse. Uh, Akiko's there. I'm sorry. I've caused you so much trouble, Masahiro. And now I've put you in danger because of my selfishness. I think you should forget about me and just leave me here. Little girl, you may open your eyes. There's someone up there. <laughs> Excuse me, are you one of Kifune's priests? Uh -huh. Masahiro, look out! <laughs> What's going on? Watch it, there's another one up above you! <laughs> Those two are possessed by foreign demons! Mokun, don't! A Shikigami isn't supposed to harm humans! Take another look at the Masahiro! They aren't human anymore! They're the living dead! <laughs> they were killed? And now they're zombies controlled by foreign demons? <laughs> Say goodbye, demon. Soon I'll send your comrades to join you in the pit of hell. Goran! Are you okay? 
Let's get going. Right. Pathetic! How sad for this mountain's god! Defeated! Then sealed away, no longer able to bring rain to this land. We dominate the gods, Shun. The feeble gods of this tiny archipelago don't approach our power. And your new plan is diabolical! This trap will surely please our master. <laughs> So you came, priest! She's near. Princess Keiko is here for sure! Masahiro, I can take care of things here. You go ahead without me. I got it! I'll clear a path! <clears throat> Coming for you, Akiko. Now then. I don't have any time to waste on them. Looks like I'll have to send you all to hell. Very soon. That horrible little princess who hurt me will be transformed by the demons into something hideous. <laughs> hmm? I've come for Akiko! You've come to interfere. <clears throat> Your precious Akiko is further ahead. She's just outside the main temple. What's wrong? What are you waiting for? Why are you doing this? What I am doing is no concern of yours. You should just leave me be. Besides, the longer you stand here, the less chance Akiko has of surviving. <clears throat> I'm happy as long as my wish is granted. What happens to Akiko at this point is no longer my concern. A curse will always find its way back to you. If you direct a curse at someone, it will return and you'll be punished. That's not important. As long as my wish is granted and the one person is returned to me. Hm. Now be gone, boy. Save your precious Akiko and leave me to complete my task. I can't do that! You gotta help Gigosawa Masahiro, I'm begging you! And Onmyoji's job is to save people, right? I made a promise to Akiko! And you're a fool. Can't you see I'm doing nothing but securing my happiness? Why can't you just leave me be? It's just an illusion! Tenpo... <sighs> Can I... Hmm. I wonder what you're up to now, boy. Show. But then, I don't really care. Tenpo! Huh. Tenken. Tenshin. Tenchu. Tenen. Tene! That won't work! The spirit of this mountain belongs to me! <gasps> It can't be! The constellation! Hokuto! Pure lights in the sky. Cloudy shadows on the earth. I pray to the guardians who watch over me. Align and protect me! With this I command you! The priest! He'll arrive soon! Silence! You disturb our master! That priest is impressive. <sighs> Masahiro. <clears throat> you child. You will suffer. How dare you interfere! Gurren, go to Akiko. What about you? If I stop now, Princess Keiko will die. I've trapped your vengeful spirit here for now. If I leave her like this, the god of Kifune will revive and come forth. Princess Keiko's soulless body will be torn apart. It'll take some time to exorcise the evil that dwells within Princess Keiko. Until then, I can't move from this spot. <sighs> Gurren, take care of Akiko. Hmm. Hmm. 
No. What's that? I can't leave you here when you're trapped like this, Masahiro. Forget about me! Go get a Kiko! Mm. Then what do you suggest we do? Steal! Uh -huh. <laughs> I'll take care of it from here on. Grandfather. Seemed like you were having a bit of trouble. Well, you took your time getting here. Don't depend on others. <sighs> you made an effort and that's good. If you do your best and give it your all, good fortune will eventually smile upon you. Now run along. I have work to do here. <sighs> Gurren, let's go. <sighs> Seimei. Go. It's too much for Masahiro alone. And you? I can deal with this one. But what about those wounds on your back, Gurren? <clears throat> no big deal. He's a reckless one. Rikugo. See what you can do to help Masahiro. Once I'm done here, I'll catch up with you. Understood. Now look what you've done. Allowing yourself to be tricked by demons and entering a path forbidden to humans. Fortunately, it's still not too late, since Masahiro was in time to save you from yourself. <clears throat> the darkness that has tainted this innocent heart, I will take into my own. here and then destroy him. We can eat his spiritual power. She must be up there. We're coming to get you, Akiko. Fit to use my name. You pretend to be an Anmyoji, but you're not. Where's the Kiko? It's not possible. A Kiko! Masahiro! Goran, let go of me! A Kiko! She... You should look closer. The princess is still alive. She's alive? That's right! Uh -huh. But not for long! Insolent priest! You'll disturb our master! I'll slice you up where you stand! Are you here to play around? Why don't you just burn everything to the ground with your precious hellfire? Yeah! Shield! Destructive tear! Pathetic! Ah! So pathetic! Your power is no match for ours! Another one? Rikugo! Hmm. Now, Makusama, the send them a Get out of the way! What are you doing? You're an annoyance. Okay, Sirio, that's enough! He's nothing but a mewling child who depends on Toda to defend him. That little boy has no real powers of his own. He'll never succeed, Seimei! Sirio, why are you being so hard on me? 
I know I'm still young and I'm not a full-on Miyoji yet, but right now the important thing is to save Akiko. I'll deal with this guy. All I'm doing is asking that you help. You think so? Then impress me, child. Now, Mokusama Danbotanan! Kiran Keshin Bari Aharahata Jichiramaya Soaka! On now, Kishatara Nishidai! Irateta Mokoteta! Is he trying to release the god of Kifune Mountain from its seal? Now, Mokusamanda Bodanan Nando Hanaundo Soka! Is that the best you can do? Masahiro! I was hoping you would be more of a challenge. He was just talk all along. Let's end this now! <laughs> Masahiro, you gotta wake up! Masahiro! Masahiro! Over the course of time, Masahiro, I'm certain you'll become an Onmyoji like me. You think so? Because sometimes when I try to do the hard ones, they don't come out right. <laughs> you know, when that happens, you'll need to ask the gods for assistance. That's what I did, but it didn't do any good. Is that right? I'll tell you what. How about I teach you something new? What? Use the language of this country and then ask one more time. The language of this country? Yes. If somebody spoke to you in a language you didn't understand, you would find it confusing too, wouldn't you? Oh. The language of this country. <sighs> Embrace and praise all Buddhas. Divide the origins of the stars. <laughs> what? Eastern Gozanze, Yashamio. Western Daitoku, Yashamio. Wait, what is this? Southern Kundari, Yashamio. Northern Kogo, Yashamio. Oh. Submit, purify, and destroy! Tear apart this binding spell and come before us! God of Takao Kami! <laughs> Did you see that, Seiryu? You're looking at Abe no Seimei's only possible successor. And that was only a small portion of his latent power. A portion? Are you trying to tell us that he has more power? Hey, Masahiro, come on. Can you hear me? You gotta wake up. Gurren. Uh, oh no, Akiko needs my help. Uh, Akiko! 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 Thank goodness we got here in time. A curse on you for what you have done to Shun. To avenge him, you shall pay with your lives. Hero? Uh, what is it? Akiko? What's wrong? Uh, 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 
Kiko, what have you done? <laughs> Well, that's over. I guess what they say is true about hell having no fury like a woman scorned. Hmm? Masahiro. worry. Masahiro. You remember? We promised each other that I would become the best Onmyoji, better than my grandfather. Ah! Gurren. <laughs> the scent of aloes would go forth. Please rid Gurren of his pain. Come back. This is where I'm supposed to be. My fire will destroy everything. If I stay here, I can't hurt anyone. That's why I must be alone. Always alone. What is that? The scent of aloes wood? There you are! What are you doing here? I've been really worried about you, Mokun. Let's go. Huh? Masahiro? Come on, I'll take you home. Wait a minute. How did I... It's cold here. It's dark and lonely, too. It's time we went back. Where? 
Home, obviously. <sighs> Mokun, you're so warm. At least I know I won't freeze before we get home. This is a lie! <clears throat> Mokun? Toda is nothing more than a fierce and cold monster. It's for the best if I remain alone. Don't be ridiculous. That's a dumb thing to say. You remember? I told you to talk to me, that if something's bothering you, you can always talk to me. So if you're ready, Mokun, let's go home. <sighs> now, don't you feel better already, Mokun? Masahiro. <clears throat> Masahiro. Now what just happened? Did Masahiro calm Toda down somehow? Are you saying that it was the child's power that did it? Masahiro. Masahiro! I won't lose him, even if it means giving up my own life. Seimei, no! If you do, you know what will happen. I don't care. <sighs> <sighs> ah, I see. This child was the one who released me. Uh, Kifune's dragon god. I understand he is still but a boy. And it would be a great loss if a talent like his were allowed to die here. As a reward for releasing me from my curse, I shall take pity upon him. Like that. This wasn't your fault, you know? I guess you're gonna be looking after me for a while longer. <sighs> He'll be okay. He just needs to rest for a while. That's a hero. You've always been able to reach me. He released the Dragon God of Kifune from her prison, and now we have rain once again. I'll return your golden band to seal your powers soon. Now let's get back before Masahiro is drenched. <laughs> Gaku and Shun were defeated. Well, that's fine. There will be other methods. These creatures barely satisfy my hunger. I'm so sorry, Masahiro. Don't worry about it, Akiko. It really wasn't your fault. Besides, I'm fine now. But I remember all of it. It's as if I didn't have any control over my hands. And I... <laughs> It wasn't your fault. You were being controlled by the foreign demons. I know you didn't want to do it. It was their evil that made you. I'm sorry. It's really okay. I mean it. You don't need to cry anymore. Really. Don't worry about it. The truth is, the real fault lies with the inexperienced, unreliable, half-trained on Miyoji who didn't foresee the demon's plan. You really don't need to be so blunt about it. As if that's not enough, now we owe the Dragon God of Kifune a favor. From this point on, if you don't train extra hard, there's a good chance she'll come down and punish you. Well, uh, what are you getting at? What's that supposed to mean, Mokun? You must know that the gods have to be praised or else they'll haunt you. 
Since you've summoned the Dragon God of Kifune, one of the more powerful deities in our country, I might add. <laughs> oh, and since you've been blessed, if you don't become a great and powerful on me, Oji, she will curse you! <laughs> <laughs> and then you'll be punished. That's not fair! Oh, no, Sit up and so take it like a man, Sammy's oh. grandson! Yeah. Stop calling me that! Oh. <laughs> oh, well, I guess he's right, and that's why you shouldn't worry about it. Uh, oh, Masahiro, I have something you might want. Uh, oh. Seimei-sama told me that, thanks to the power of the scent, a terrible disaster was averted. So I made some more of it, especially just for you. Mm, yeah, it really was helpful. I appreciate it. Mokun, you should say thanks to the princess, too. It helped you as well. Thank you. So I guess the sachet really has an effect. I'm just so happy that it was useful. Yeah, me too. What the heck, Mokun? What were you thinking about just then? Basking in the warmth of the princess's smile? It's not about her smile. Uh, no, what I meant was it's not like I don't think you have a nice smile. I'm thinking you protest too much. Go away, Mokun. Don't you have something better you could be doing? Fine. Then I'll leave you here alone to entertain Princess Akiko. Uh, 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 well, I guess I'll be running along now. You two kids stay out of trouble. Not so fast, Mokun. Hold on a second. You know you're my favorite Mononoke. Don't call me a Mononoke! Please don't go, Mokun. I'm gone. Come on, don't be like that. Let it go. Please, Bye-bye. Kifune's dragon god, the god of Takao Kami. What are you doing here? Ah, you are an observant Shikigami. I would have expected no less. Don't worry, Shikigami. I'll leave this body as soon as I've finished what I've come to do. You better. Masahiro's suffering from a serious injury, and he hasn't completely healed yet. And yet, for a human, this boy has a strong will, does he not? If you ever find yourself in need, call upon me, won't you? But it all depends on whether your voice reaches my ears. You didn't come all this way to deliver that little message, did you? God of Taka Okami? <laughs> the foreign demons that were expelled from Kifune have begun to regroup. What are you saying? You can choose whether or not to act upon this information. That is all I came here to do. But know this, I never break my word. <gasps> What's a hero? How could she possess the body of an injured child? <sighs> hmm? It's just incredible that he could attract the attention of such a powerful god. That's true. Outrageous! I guess he's really taken a liking to him, huh? I'll have to keep an eye on that boy. It appears the foreign demons that we chased out of Kifune have begun to regroup already. Seime, what are those foreign demons up to? Ah, my muscles have atrophied and I feel so weak after laying around the house for such a long time. Hey you! You need to take it easy for a while! You're still recovering! Your body's not up to all this activity yet! That may be true, but for some reason I feel really good. Mm -hmm. Suddenly, I feel like a weight's been lifted off me. I don't know how to say it. It's like the spell Grandfather used on me has fixed everything all at once. Huh, this is your doing, isn't it, Dragon God of Kifune? You know what? I think I'll go back to the dorms what? today. What? You intend to go to the Anmyo dorms today? Don't worry about me. I'm feeling as good as I ever have, Mokun. You don't honestly think Yoshimasa's gonna allow that. There's also Kyuki and the demons to deal with. I can't just lay around here all the time. Hmm. As far as I can tell, nothing's going on in the capital today. Yeah. In that case, where have the demons gone? What are they up to? Oh, huh? goodness. If it isn't Masahiro Dono. 
I had heard you weren't feeling well recently, but you're certainly looking well now. That's right. I'm feeling as good as new. By the way, where were you headed, Yukinari-sama? Well, there have been some incidents of people being spirited away from the capital. I have received orders to investigate these disappearances. Spirited away? A number of people have disappeared completely. The anxiety of the people grows worse with each passing day. Besides, there's talk that it might be the work of an Ayakashi. <clears throat> if that's the case, we will need help from the Anmyo dorms. Think you could help? Yes, I'm sure. I'll talk to my father. I'm trusting in your abilities, Masahiro Dono. Uh, don't worry, I won't let you down. All right then. Make sure you get plenty of rest. I'll see you again, Masahiro Dono. Right. You know what I think? The foreign demons are involved in this. Mm. We need to take a trip to Kifune tonight. But the foreign demons aren't on Kifune Mountain anymore. How do you know? Well, actually, while you were asleep this morning, the god of Kifune came and visited you. That's when she kind of told me. What? <laughs> Why didn't you no. tell me about this before? Oh, the god who saved my life visited and I didn't even know it and never gave thanks. I'm gonna be punished. I'm gonna be haunted. The retribution of the god will fall upon me. I think you understand, Masahiro. All right. Mm? <clears throat> We're going to Kifune tonight to say thank you. Is there any particular reason Rakugo's following us? Most likely, Sei may send him along just as a precaution. In other words, if I'm to understand you correctly, you're saying that the fire at the Imperial Palace and the deaths of the priests at Kifune are entirely the fault of foreign demons? That's right, and I sincerely apologize for the delay in making my report to you. I hold myself fully responsible for this oversight, and I'm now prepared to accept any punishment you deem fit. There's no need for that. The Mikado and I both believe that if we leave everything to you, there should be no major concerns. We respect your ability. That may be, but I have my doubts. There's no need for you to be humble. With Yoshimasa, Masahiro, and you as our protectors, those foreign demons are inconsequential. Your kind words honor me deeply. Dragon God of Kifune, I have come. I offer my sincerest gratitude. My apologies for my late arrival. I only just learned of your visit this morning. I deeply regret that I did not awake to greet you properly, and for this, I apologize. His fate even involves the gods. Interesting. He's naive and inexperienced, but he is Seimei's heir. Obviously. So, Rikugo, how do you feel about that? Seimei calls the boy his heir. That's all I require. I see. That should do it. Okay, I'm done giving thanks. Let's go home. That's all? Wasn't much to that. It's just fine. I put a lot of feeling into it. Uh, oh. Firefly. It looks like the last one of the year. I wish I could show it to Akiko. She'd love it. It'd make her so happy. Yeah. You know what? Next year we should come up and see the fireflies. And bring Akiko with us. Hmm. The night breeze isn't good for your health. Let's go. Uh, right. Answer. Uh, uh, Answer. Uh, 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 Answer. Uh, it can't be. They've returned. I can't answer.
Princess Aikiko, Masahiro-sama wishes to speak with you. Hi, Masahiro! Greetings, Princess Akiko. On behalf of my grandfather, I've come to inquire about your well-being. Oh. It's been a long time. Is it true that you fainted? Are you feeling all right now? Uh, oh, it was nothing, really. I was just very tired and fell asleep. Nothing to worry about. <sighs> something bad happened here, didn't it? I can sense that something has made Grandfather's barrier weaker. Why didn't you let us know the second it happened? If I told you, you would have probably come here right away and tried to do something about it, wouldn't you? Of course I would have. Then you could be hurt. There's always a chance of that, and then it would be my fault again. <sighs> like when Keiko-sama was possessed. Maybe you wouldn't have been hurt at Kifune if I hadn't been so stupid and tried to follow you. You're still not completely healed from that terrible injury, are you? And still, if I had told you what was going on here, you would have forced yourself to come out. Now, wait a minute. I hurt you so badly you could have died. But it wasn't your fault. I can't be the one who puts you in danger again. <laughs> All right, listen to me. Uh, Look, what happened to me was not your fault in any way. It happened because I'm still a student. It's all right. No matter what happens, I'll never make the same mistake again. Uh, so next time there's a problem, let me know immediately. Is it a deal? Yeah. So, what happened here? Please tell me everything. Ayakashi had been appearing in my garden almost every night for the last two weeks. Ayakashi? What kind? I've been hiding inside my room whenever they've appeared, so I never really got a look at them. But you know, I'm absolutely sure they are the minions of the demon who kidnapped me that night. <gasps> There's a larger presence that's been calling me while I'm asleep, and I can sense that it's just outside the barrier. From somewhere over here, right? Yeah. There's no trace of their aura. Akiko, whatever you do, don't answer that voice. You must keep Grandfather's charm with you always. Mm. I promise I'll call you next time. You'll protect me, won't you? You have my word. Akiko, have you ever seen fireflies? Fireflies? I've seen ones that the servants have released in the gardens. When I went to Kifune last night, I saw the last firefly of the season. Oh. Usually around midsummer, there are a lot of fireflies up on the mountain. Oh my, that must be a really wonderful thing to see. Yeah. I'm afraid the season's already over for this year, but how would you like to go see them next summer? Uh, well, I'd love to go, but I... you see, it's really hard for me to get permission to leave the grounds. No need to worry. I can be your escort. Uh, I'll figure something out. You can do that? Okay, it's a promise. Uh, <clears throat> You have my promise. We'll definitely see the fireflies next summer. Definitely. It might be autumn soon, but it's sure getting warm. Sorry I'm late. Well, it took you quite a while to get back, didn't it? Are you sure you were just checking in on Akiko-sama? <clears throat> After I checked in on Akiko, Michinaga-sama summoned me to run an errand for him. He wanted me to deliver this letter to you, Grandfather. Hmm. Hmm. A marriage? That's right. I sent a letter to Seimei asking him to select an auspicious day during the winter season. What wonderful news this is! Congratulations! Princess Akiko, someday you will become the Mikado's wife! That is correct. How was Princess Akiko? Is she doing well? So far, she seems to be doing okay. But demons have been appearing almost every night for the last two weeks, and their attacks have severely weakened your barrier, Grandfather. As I thought. We're almost certain it's the foreign demons. Kyuki is behind all this. <sighs> I temporarily repaired the barrier the best I could, but I don't think it'll hold for much longer. Well then, it looks like I'll have to make a little trip down to East Sanjo residence. I can't go next summer, or ever. Once I enter the palace, I can't go with Masahiro to see the fireflies, even though we promised. 
We swore to each other. I am so sorry. Masahiro, I'm sorry. Oh, a firefly? Felt that aura. It's uh, coming from East Sanjo residence. The barrier's been broken. It can't have broken yet. <gasps> <sighs> Masahiro, let's go. Right. Moku, you go on ahead. Got it. <gasps> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Even though we promised each other. Our master has done it again. He grasps the girl's mind with ease. Humans break so easily. If our master eats her flesh and drinks her blood... Kyuki-sama's power will become unstoppable. <laughs> Get ready to die! And then you will die! There she is! The girl is first rate! For our master. I don't think so. So who's next on my list? <laughs> You've gone as far as you're gonna get. Say me. Huh? Mishinaga Sama. Thank goodness. I'm just glad you came. Please look after Akiko. You mustn't allow her to be harmed by the foreign demons. Right. Masahiro, I want you to explain what happened. When you stopped by earlier this evening, you assured me there was absolutely nothing to worry about. Sorry. Masahiro, you should get going. Michinaga sama you should know something. What is it? My grandson is not responsible for this attack, so you really can't blame him for this situation. What do you mean? The aura of the demon's master has infiltrated your household. And also, this master demon has somehow managed to get to Princess Akiko and is using her as a pawn. Otherwise, there's no way that the spiritual barrier I've cast around your home would have been breached so easily. <coughs> Akiko! Akiko, can you hear me? You'll be okay! This wound on her hand, it's a curse. Why didn't I realize it before? They must have broken through from the inside. That means they used the curse in Akiko to get in. Oh, poor Masahiro. I've let you down. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I promised I'd be there to protect you. This scent holds the power to repel demons and ward off evil. The spiritual power of this one should have more effect because it's been with me all this time. <laughs> the poor girl. The evil energy is raging throughout her body. I can just imagine how incredibly painful it must be. I know that, but what should I do? Pardon me, Gurren. Would you take a look around the house to see if there are any demons about? If there are, you know what to do. Understood. I'll toast the bastards. Masahiro, about the letter from Michinaga-sama. Uh -huh. It said to look for an auspicious day for Princess Akiko for her imperial wedding. <sighs> so that means she can't see the fireflies. And that explains why she said she was sorry. We have to find the foreign demons as quickly as we can. And then we'll need to dispel the curse that they've cast on Princess Akiko, since the poor girl cannot endure this pain for much longer. 
What I'll do is temporarily transfer the curse to myself to relieve her suffering at least until you can defeat the foreign demons. But we must defeat these demons before she enters the Imperial Court. Grandfather, I have a request to make. Hmm? Masahiro, something wrong? Hi. What's up, Mokun? What do you mean, what's up, Mokun? What's bothering you? It looks like Akiko's gonna be entering the court this winter. I see. You know, we made a promise to each other mm. that we'd see the fireflies together. <sighs> Mokun, we need to get rid of Kyuki. Yeah. We'll destroy every single one of those filthy foreign demons infesting our country. We need to do it so Akiko can join the court. We will. We'll definitely do that. Back off! <laughs> now, Maku Samanda and Bodama! Sara Sara, Parkia! Unhopped! <laughs> Where do you think you're going? <laughs> Masahiro! Are you alright? I'm fine. Stop worrying about me. Don't lie to me. You've been fighting demons every night and you're exhausted. But I have to. <sighs> For now, I have to do what I can. Uh, Masahiro! <sighs> Save me! You've got to stop him! Hmm? He's totally lost his mind! You mean Masahiro? Who else do you think I mean? The kid's not ready for this. He's still recovering! Gurren, uh, you should let the boy do what he wants. You can't talk him out of it anyway. Say, May, you're hiding something, aren't you? What is it? I came to let you know that Masahiro is awake. If you leave him alone, he will probably sneak out of the house again. <laughs> Say, May, you need to tell Gurin. <sighs> You do this every day. What are you expecting to see? Well, a thing or two. Do you really think it's wise to leave him alone? Huh. Hmm? Huh? Am I hearing things or are you actually concerned about Gurren? No way. Well, that's a relief. I thought I was going crazy. Huh? Then it's safe to assume that your concern is really for my grandson Masahiro. It's all clear. You've finally grown to accept Masahiro's powers. No, I don't like the idea of your so-called heir almost getting himself killed and still not learning from his mistakes. Hmm, Sir, you. I think you'll come around. Princess Akiko. The wound that the foreign demons inflicted on you has healed, but... I'm afraid that to some extent, you will feel the effects of the curse for as long as you live. Unfortunately, it'll often make its evil presence known. Uh, but I'm fine. I'm not afraid at all. I'm protected by two of the greatest on Miyoji. Mm. I believe in you and Yoshimasa-sama. I... I have to know. Hmm. I've heard rumors circulating in the court that you've chosen to take the curse upon yourself and endure the pain that was meant for me. Tell me, is it true? Hmm. Uh, I knew it! 
I never should have given it an answer. I shouldn't have. <laughs> I knew. <laughs> answer. If you answer, I will grant your wish. Masahiro! It's my fault. I brought this curse on myself. I just wanted to be free. That's all. I never meant to cause anyone any pain. You have to believe me. Now you're under a curse. And Masahiro! Everyone has a weakness. Don't be so hard on yourself. The demon looked deep into your heart, found your weakness, and preyed upon it. There's no need for you to worry. Masahiro will hunt the demon down, and when he does, he'll destroy it. That's right. The fireflies. Mm. Masahiro asked me to go and see the fireflies with him. Next summer, since the season for them has ended this year. That's silly, isn't it? I'd never be allowed to leave the house and venture that far away from the palace grounds, would I? But Masahiro said it'd be okay. He promised he'd take me to see them. We swore on it. So he has to take me. Well, you should remember Masahiro is the one fated to succeed me. He always does what he promises, and he'd never break his word to you. Right. But do me a favor. Don't tell Masahiro what I just told you. We wouldn't want the boy to get swollen-headed. <laughs> <laughs> Rikugo, I hate to ask this, but would you mind watching over Masahiro for a little while? Even though Tota's with him? Yes. I'm more than a little worried about that boy. Understood. What's happened to Seimei? Oh? Huh? Hmm. I understand you're here on urgent business. Michinagasama, we have a problem that you need to be made aware of. So, tell me, where did you see people being spirited away? Further up the road is a house next to a big pond! Please be careful. It's a hideout for bandits. House by a pond? The water started to sparkle, and before I knew it, a whole bunch of people suddenly disappeared! <laughs> I've got to see this. Excuse me, Seimei's grandson. Oh. You're looking kind of pale. Are you tired or something? Look at that! Even the minor demons are worried about him! He's not taking care of himself! Getting angry doesn't help. How can I not get angry? Malkon! Oh, come on, let's go. Go get him! Yeah, go get him! You can do it, Seimei's grandson! Go, grandson, go! Don't call me that. <laughs> Remember, crime doesn't pay. All right, I've had just about enough of this. Come out. There's no way anything could possibly withstand my heat. I see. <laughs> A foreign demon. 
<laughs> it wasn't really in the water. It was hiding in the reflection just beneath the surface. It was how? <laughs> Juki created another world beyond the mirror of the water. A world that you will never be able to enter. Just die. <laughs> Kyuki possess me! Kyuki! What's wrong? Masahiro! <laughs> <laughs> what delicious irony. The little priest carries my curse within him. What? Seimei said he'd absorb the curse. <laughs> Poor unfortunate little priest. Taking the curse upon you was foolish. And now you will enjoy the full extent of my power. I'll give you pain enough to destroy you. That you would suffer this agony and let it eviscerate your existence is both admirable and stupid. You and the princess will be worthy sacrifices. That's not gonna happen! How could you do something like that? You don't have the strength to absorb a curse intended for someone else. You know something like that could be fatal. Are you listening to me? Masahiro! I wanted to do something. I had to save Akiko. Ugh. Even though I swore to protect her, even though I tried my best, I still wasn't able to help her. So I had to do this. But did you have any idea what would happen to you if you took on the curse? Of course I did. I knew it would hurt. But the pain and suffering I feel is proof that Akiko is okay, and that makes it bearable. <sighs> I couldn't bear the thought of seeing her suffer. That's why I decided to absorb the curse myself. If there was any way I could protect her from pain, I'd do it. <clears throat> what am I gonna do with you? <gasps> Come on, it's time to go back home. <clears throat> you need to get some rest. Yeah. That boy knows what he wants. I can see now why he will be Seimei's successor. Huh? Gurren, hello. Seimei, you know I couldn't care less about what happens in human politics. And I've never been interested in who gets promoted or who marries the Mikado. But now, I wish I could destroy the Imperial Court and its intrigues. You do? I wish that I could alter Akiko's fate. This is the first time I've ever considered changing a person's destiny by force. If only... <sighs> <sighs> I know. That was Kyoho, Kyuki's minion. The demon Kyuki hides beyond the mirror of the water. Yeah, that's what it said. I think Kyuki's been feeding on... The people who were spirited away. But how did they reach the realm beyond the water mirror? Huh. 
With so many demons moving into that other world all at the same time, they'd need a lot of space, a body of water to hold them all. Hmm. There's a pretty large pond close to the capital. It's Hirosawa's central pond. <laughs> Do you want to take a look now? Uh, you know, actually, I think it'd be better if we left late at night. Uh, oh, right. Princess Akiko's dressing ceremonies today. Uh, yeah. What a wonderful opportunity for the minister of the left's eldest daughter. The minister must be pleased that the princess is of age. I can hardly wait until she makes her debut in the royal court. That girl will make a splendid wife for the Mikado. Mm. <clears throat> There's no change in the reading of her future? Yes, and such a shame. Mm. I see. Well, if that's the case, I'll leave everything to you. Yes. He's working too hard. Tain, do you think he can defeat the foreign demons in his current state? <sighs> if he's Seimei's successor, he should be able to. I don't know. Do you think he's really that powerful? You weren't there when he fought that battle at Kifune. He was really something. <sighs> Obviously Seimei's successor. And once this crisis is over, we will have to accept that. Whether we like it or not. It's quiet. I don't feel a thing. There's no demonic aura. I notice, and it's making me really uneasy. You're right. It's like something's blocked it all out. Kyuki. Uh. 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 Wait a minute, I can't feel his aura at all. <clears throat> That's because his physical body's on the other side of the water mirror. <clears throat> Little priest. Let's make a deal. What's that? Masahiro, did you hear something? Ugh, he's talking to me. Only you can hear my voice. Ugh. It is the curse that lies within you that allows me to speak to you alone. Ugh. If Kyuki's trying to communicate with you, just remember. Just be careful what you say to him. I will. That curse will eventually devour your life force. It will destroy your body bit by bit. I released that curse by directing my power through the claws of Gaku and Shun. It was originally meant to bring about the death of Fujiwara no Kiko. I'll destroy you before you do that! Masahiro! <sighs> Consider my offer, little priest. Why don't you make a deal with me before that curse drains your spirit and kills you? <clears throat> you possess great power and a remarkable spirit. Simply killing you would be a tragic waste. Live and become one of my followers! Masahiro, don't say a thing! Give me your power. This is all I ask. If you do, I will grant you whatever you wish. <laughs> I'll be waiting for you within the water mirror at the pond of Ogura. <laughs> Fine. Well, you sure don't look like you're fine. What happened just now? 
What was Kiki saying to you? Oh, hey! Don't worry about it. It was nothing. We'll find him at the Ogora Pond. Huh? So is that what he told you? Finally, everything is ready. All that is left is Akiko's entry into the palace. Congratulations to you, sir. Masahiro, am I to understand that you will eliminate Akiko's curse by tonight? Uh, yes, sir. Excellent. Then we can count on you. Masahiro, please make sure Princess Akiko is okay. Huh? I have private matters to discuss with Michinaga-sama. Uh, I understand, sir. Please excuse me. Something wrong? Once Akiko enters the court, I'll never walk down this hallway to visit her again. <sighs> I think I'll wait here for you. Uh, come on, move along, will ya? <laughs> oh, I think I'll take a little nap. I want to congratulate you, Your Highness. I'm sure your ceremony will be wonderful. I haven't seen you in a while. Masahiro, it looks like you've lost some weight. I guess it wouldn't be too surprising if I did. I've been working really hard patrolling the capital. I have been feeling a little run down lately, but I just need more rest. Well, if you're sure that's all it is. Once, you said it was possible to see clearly through these blinds, but it's not, is it? You're right about that. But from now on, only the Mikado is allowed to see you directly. Oh, I forgot. Please forgive me for being forward, First Princess. I apologize. It's Akiko! <sighs> Please, don't call me First Princess. I'm Akiko. Don't you remember? Akiko. <sighs> the fireflies. Yes. We'll see them, I promise. Even if I have to bring them to you, I will cast my most powerful spell to allow you to see the beautiful fireflies of Kifune Mountain. You can do that? I give you my word. <sighs> Tell me, Masahiro. There must be lots of spirits in the palace. But even with that many Ayakashi around, I know I'll be safe with you there to protect me. Of course, I'll be there to protect you, as long as I live. Yes, I know you will.
grandfather. I have to go now. I'm sorry, but this is something I have to do. Hmm. You're one of Masahiro's spirits. Take good care of my grandson. Kuromanosuke, it's time to go. Head south. Toward the Ogura Pond. Looks like we're gonna meet Kyuki. Yeah. You possess great power and a remarkable spirit. Simply killing you would be a tragic waste. Live. What's the matter? It's the curse. I can feel Kyuki calling to me. All right. By the time Akiko enters the palace tomorrow, I will have settled the score once and for all. At last, the time has come. I'll send someone to welcome our guest. Doro. Yes, go. I'm waiting for you, little priest. Can you feel it? No, not a thing. But that only proves that they're beyond the water mirror. Let's go! I know you, you're the demon Doro! Where's your master Kyuki? Rikugo! that lift before the dawn of man. Find the many devils and put down the evil. Extinguish the hundred demons now! Welcome, little priest. Masahiro! Garan, help me! No! Hero. <sighs> You've lost the boy forever, Shikigami. Accept the defeat you so richly deserve. You and your kind may never enter our master's world. So now, in the name of our master, you shall die! Not a chance! <gasps> Where am I? What is this place anyway? Kyuki! Welcome, little priest. I've been waiting for you. Have you finally decided to deny your birthright and become one of my followers? Those must be all the people that vanished. Those are the people Kyuki killed and he turned them into zombies! If you do, I'll grant you your heart's desire. I have only one desire, and that would be to dance on your rotting bones! Even if I told you that I'd bring Fujiwara no Akiko here to you. Uh. <laughs> uh. 
Akiko. So what do you say? Shall I release her from her life with the Mikado? After all, if I can create a vast world such as this, have you any doubt that I can free Fujiwara no Akiko from her lonesome destiny? In your heart of hearts, isn't that what you really ache for? You want me to. Oh yes, you want me to. Just a little more. I can feel him weakening. All I ask, relinquish your power and become my follower forever! Never! Why? Do you not wish to caress Fujiwara no Akiko? What you offer is an illusion. What good is love if the fireflies aren't real? No deal, Kyuki. Too long have you plagued mankind. Let this incantation put an end to your atrocious evil. Anonymous purifier, do my bidding now! It's just as I had hoped. Your blood rejuvenates me. It enhances my power beyond measure. I don't need you to serve me. I just need to devour you. Seryu, Tenitsu, Genbu. Say me. There's something I need you to do. in there somewhere. Your blood is perfection. Most of my wounds have started to heal with just a taste. Now you die! You both got through the water mirror! You'll pay for that! Go now. Thank you! Riku, go! Masahiro, hang on! Go Hero? Princess? Who are you? I'm Tenitsu, one of Abe no Seimei's familiars, and one of the Twelve Shikigami Spirits. My name is Genbu. I am also one of the Twelve Shikigami. What can I do for you? Princess Akiko, we need your help to save the life of Seimei's young grandson, Masahiro. He's battling Kyuki. He's fighting for his life in another world. Uh, is he all right? Yes, but for how long, I don't know. We need your help to open a path to the other world. And to do that, we need the charm you carry with you. What charm is that? It's that herbal sachet in your hand. Uh. It contains Masahiro's spiritual power. In order for us to bridge the two worlds, we need something with Masahiro's energy. It's a matter of life and death. 
I understand. Take it. Thank you. Farewell. Please come back to me soon. I need you, Masahiro. Akiko, there you are. Uh. There's something I must tell you. I'm afraid it's not good news. Uh, Seimei-sama? Mm. Uh. Let him go! If you move, I'll kill the boy and eat you. Trust in the strength of the universal gods. A spell? Trust in them and give them honor. I'm not going to kill you yet, little priest. I intend to eat you very slowly. The dividing constellations of... Whoa! No! Disappointing. Is your power exhausted so soon? <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> your little spells will not save you! God of Kifune, give me your divine protection! Uh, you tricked me! You planned this from the beginning! Find this evil demon and hold it now! And the incomparable blessings of the Buddha Mural shall be bestowed upon you! Now we see the true power of Sami's heir and successor. What the? I do not fear your puny god! Prepare to die! You've just met Sword of Goma, the sword forged by Abe no Seime. You're done, Kyuki. No, you don't! Kyuki! By the power of Kifune, strike the demon down! can choose whether or not to act upon this information. But know this, I never break my word. Masahiro? Masahiro! <sighs> Mokun. That was a little too close. You scared the heck out of me. I didn't think you were gonna wake up. Hold still and let me heal the worst of your injuries. <sighs> Here, take this. It was loaned to us by Princess Akiko. It's Akiko's? We used it to send Siryu through the water mirror. You saved me. It's thanks to you that I'm alive. How can I ever repay you for what you've done? No big deal. <laughs> it's finally over. Masahiro, I'm glad you're back. I know that you're in need of some rest, but we have an important visitor. Uh... You may come in. Uh -oh. Starting today, it's our responsibility to take care of the princess. Uh -huh. It's quite a pity, but a terrible curse was put on her and I'm not sure it can ever be removed. 
It's become so critical that Anon Miyoji must attend to her every day. <laughs> Can I trust you'll take good care of me? <laughs> Come on! What's going on here, Seimei? If Akiko had entered the palace, the curse would have followed her there and threatened the Mikado. Even so, to stop the entrance ceremony was unthinkable. Then tell me, who married the Mikado? Michinaga-sama has another entitled daughter who is known as Shoko-sama, born of a different mother. Amazingly, they look almost exactly alike. What? What if somebody finds out? Once she's in the palace, she'll only be seen through bamboo blinds. No one will ever know. You really are! A sneaky old geezer. Well then, since you feel that way, why don't you tell Masahiro? But uh, how did Masahiro? Uh, <laughs> do you still want to go to Kifune next summer and see the fireflies like we promised? Uh, will you swear on it? Yeah, I swear on it. Mm. Looks like it's time I took another little nap.
Thank <laughs> you. 